Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, part 2 of session 30. It is the 13th of December 2019. I'm Ryan the GM and here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing Lord Eric Greenwood, the Human Sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half-Elf Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Combart, the Half-Orc Paladin. You're going to say Crumbar playing Scott. <laughs> 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 I'm Sophie, I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm St Stuart, I play Reach, a half elf monk. Yes, you are. Um, right, so, just jumping straight back in. Dun dun dun. Right, you So. Here's the question Are we just rolling initiative again? Is that what happens, or is there conversation in reply? Mm, I kind of want to do something in, before we go into combat. I kind of just want to blast the fool. <laughs> um, right, well. So, if, okay, let's, let's freeze frame. Eric, what's your instinct upon seeing the red robed man? Well, I haven't seen him, so he's out of line as well. Is he? Is he indeed? Uh, yeah, he is indeed good. Virtual. And then let's see who else have we got. Arya. Um, I would first ask. You know, who are you? Nope. It's like first instinct. So is it the question? Oh. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. Yeah. Because we've Crumber. seen him. It's okay. That's I literally all I need. Crumber. First instinct would be to. Uh, Yell at him so we, it was you that was behind us. Okay, cool. So, no, not instigating any specific combat yet. Cool. Kitty? I would ready an attack. Cool. Okay, okay. And Reach, you in this moment of What's everyone happening? Yeah. <laughs> Coward! Ironically. Why do I feel this magic has left my body as well? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, the, the compulsion ends as soon as like that like round ended you anyway. Just or he gumped away. Yeah, Bane's I don't even away. know where you are. <laughs> and then you can also in this period of time as well, Stu, you can start walking your fifty foot back if you wanted. As well like, in this kind of moment. Where where actually is Reach on the map then? You, you, you can't see him because you can't see him. He's gone. Literally as close as he can get in 50. Ah, I can see you now. Cool. Mm, uh, right, okay. In that case then, yeah, no one specifically has done anything. What was your trigger for your attack, Kitlith? Uh, just him appearing. Right. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> is that the trigger for your attack? What is the trigger <laughs> for your attack? Because <laughs> him appearing <laughs> isn't a trigger because you didn't know he was going to appear. No, sorry. That'd be very clever um, if you yeah, right. Real time. Or suspect, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, um, feed my power. Plot seeking yeah. arrows. <laughs> <laughs> it, the trigger would be him attacking anyone. Cool. Like any one of our group. Okay. So yeah, he um, it just has such a disappointment, and then he just starts to walk. Let's see, let's do this in a really annoying slow. There we go. He just starts to walk as we're doing. So, yeah, I guess everybody starts shouting at him from what I gathered from the instincts. So, mm. our young Crumber, do you both want to shout whatever he's going to shout at him? Uh, I was going to shout, so it was you that was behind this um, infusion in the orcs. And as he's walking towards the big kind of altar type thing that's all kind of bloody and sloshy and disgusting. And uh, he just kind of like slides a finger across it and it makes that horrible squeaking noise. And he just looks at it with the blood dripping off of it. And he looks up at you and he just grins, this big toothy grin. And he says, Oh, you didn't think the orcs were smart enough to do this on their own, did you? Paladin. And he flicks the blood back on the altar. Who do you think you are to deface nature this thus? And then I think can I just can I just say, like, say when I hear her say that, it just kind of gives me a wee bit of tingles and just like ooh, so she's getting angry about this. Mm -hmm. The wrath of Mother Nature, and he uh, he looks over at you, and he says, "I hope you appreciate the gift, Mistress." 
And then he looks back to Crumber. <laughs> I think when he said that, it would just be like... Why would you call me that? Uh, yeah, like, is that kind of way? It was that kind of almost... Hey, I, I can. I actually feel like I can trust her again. Then he's done that. I'm like, yeah, and she's standing there with no, her big fucking fiery bow. <laughs> yeah, and then he just went. Then he just went. How do you like the gift mistress? I'm like, shit. No, I can't. <laughs> God dang it. Yeah. And like we were so close. <laughs> and then yeah, so he just keeps on walking, and he walks over to yeah. Malagas' corpse, and he kind of like starts to like rummage through. I, mean, I was gonna say, Adrian, are you not one to say in the back? I about did, that? I did, I did say, but oh, nobody did. reacted. Oh, yeah, I said, why would you call me mistress? Why this again? Oh, I didn't know that was that uh, in game. Sorry. And uh, yeah, he doesn't specifically respond to that. He just walks over and like looking smug and uh, listening to all of Sophie's additional noises over the mic. And then uh, sorry, <laughs> I thought it was muted. <laughs> and then um, he he walks over and he just starts looking through. Malagas, as if he's looking for something. As he's like doing that, rummaging through somebody's body. Not like inside her, but like looking through her like robes and stuff. Yeah, to try and as if he's like looking for something. Well, he's doing that. See, hulking Susan. Mm -hmm. Can I search? To see if that axe is still there. That axe is really big and really visible. It is there. Can I pick it up and take it? Yeah. <laughs> you can. Yay! It requires is adjournment. There... Yay! So I'll tell you what it does when you've had an hour to attune with it. Can I use it just as a normal axe until then, though, yeah? Yes, it would be worse than what you're wielding, so you may as well wield what you've got until you attune with this, because it wouldn't be... Right, efficient. okay, okay. Things that need attuned, you want to be attuned right. to them. Put it that way. They can still okay. be used, but they're, like, awkward. Okay, I will come back for that in a minute. But yeah. Um, no, you can, like, you can easily pick it up and, like, use your... Obviously, you're carrying fire your, on my back. Yeah, because you're yeah. carrying your axe just now, so you can use your leather strap thing to just hold that one if you want. For later. Okay, that works for me. Your after dinner axe. My after dinner <laughs> axe. This is my uh, social evening axe. Mm -hmm. As you um, uh, pick it up, can you roll a perception check with advantage for me? Um, probably. <laughs> then do so. I'm like I'm looking at persuasion and I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> oh boom yeah, nice both of them as well um, uh -huh. yeah so as you lift it out of the bloody mess that is hulking Susan um, <laughs> you also can I just mention guys that Scott named this person I didn't I named the hulking part right but Susan was old Scott um, even though it was Suzanne <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, names can get lost in translation. This so. is right, and Orkish is a you know a, a tricky dialect. Um, but yeah, you go, you lift the axe up out of the kind of you know bloodied grip and corpse of said you know former chief, and all the blood seems to have pulled into it as you lifted it. Is, is this like it, a Chaos Space Marine axe or something? It's a tidy minded axe that doesn't like leaving a mess. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, yeah. You notice that as you what pick other it up. March? Yeah, right. So. Yeah. You notice that. Um, but, yeah. So. So then. He stands back up after rummaging through the corpse. And then. Seems to be holding something in his hand. Kinda, it's about a foot long, gold kind of scepter looking thing. And he just tucks it into his robe. And then he turns round to kind of regard you. And he kind of walks out from being a, you know, behind a tent because it's not as. He just starts walking back up. And he looks back at everyone. As he's 
And then he says, um, You just can all go. We're done. I'm not done here. We what are you not done. Who are you team? and why are you calling me mistress? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he looks at you, are you? And uh, he speaks in an infernal. And he says, and strangely, you seem to pick it up perfectly. It is not yet time for your place. And then he looks again very sharply at a Crumbar when he finishes that conversation. Then kind of his like face relaxes again and he smirks. And he says Goodbye. Before he leaves, can I try to shoot him? Yeah, of course you can. Why not? I want to shoot the so why don't line. why don't we all roll initiative? Yeah, I was going to say, because I want to kind of chase after him as well. Right, let's see if she's going to stop him escaping. I want to fuck him in the face with... This is when thing. the roll 20 either screws me over, or... I... Yes! Damn. <laughs> I pretty much did Aww. screw you over. It's, <laughs> it's not ideal, is it? Um, but, let's see what happens. Uh, right, okay, cool. Uh, I like how the two of us didn't want to let him leave, and the two of us ended up scoring really hard on initiative. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I've kind of got like, to. I feel that that works very well with You've the story out. right now. I've not, I'm, she's still in the process of doing it. I have a million oh. things to click, but yeah, My don't worry. That's okay. Oh. No. Yeah, she's. that's what exactly what she wrote last time, I think. Uh, <laughs> so I don't even need to refresh the order. Good. Um, right, so. The thing is, though, I don't know if the Kana would do anything right, because she doesn't know who this guy is. No. So, yeah. But the fact that we're all like, attack! The thing is, though, yeah, she, heard, a she heard him, though. Which means... Oh, she's infernal, yeah. So she knows that uh, Arya's dodgy. Mm. <laughs> Arya doesn't know why Arya's dodgy, but... <laughs> Everybody around me is like, oh, she's dodgy. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we're back in combat, folks. Let's go for it. Grumble. Uh, me first. You can see um, that he says goodbye, and it's like as his lips are there, you can see that the crackle of energy in his hands and stuff, so you, can, you know he's obviously about to try something. Also, do you want me to do this part for you? Because, like, you can easily yeah. go, like, can I... you can go there, like that, if that makes it. Yeah. So you can easily go uh, there. So as he's kind of said that, I'll be, I've, I'll just start running, and as and as I'm running, I'm like, you're not getting away so easy this time, and I'll jump to there, and I will, whoppa. Cool, and as you swing the axe down, he just puts his hand up and just grabs the blade between his finger and like his his fingers and thumb. And just looks at you. Uh, okay, then I will pull it back mm -hmm. and swing again for a four fa. Nice. That Ooh. does hit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking better. Well, um, he needs to grab it again and just chop his fingers off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or just give him a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> An orca cure. Uh, right, let's see. These nails are terrible. Do you <laughs> not know self care, sir? <laughs> right here. So. You should have no nails at all. Oh, Look, sorry. I'll chop them. <laughs> that is cool. Yep. Cool. So, yeah, you pull the axe back and then just like swing it the other way across his chest or something. And yeah, you see like the kind of shimmering shield of protection. And it scrapes across him, and you hear like what sounds like you know metal on stone, as you like drag this across him, and his face drops from looking smug to now serious mode. You know his emoji has changed. The bitch has bubble <laughs> shield. Oh, he's gonna teleport light and bolt us all again. We're on the perfect line. <laughs> oh my god, you are! Oh god! It's... Oh my god! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's awful. I don't think I can save her in this thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in line, I'm just away. I'm <laughs> one block. Uh, the thing is, though, lines can be drawn slanty, so... Oh, yeah. man. You probably could if you tried. Thanks for telling me that. Why did you say that? Why? <laughs> I just looked on. Well, wow. I'm next, right? I mean, I don't see myself on the list, but, you know, judging by the role, I assume I'm next, right? Uh, okay. I mean, you're not in the order, so... You need to click your token. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't see myself on the list, but considering the issues we had last time, I wasn't. No, sure all those issues have been fixed. My computer. Did you, you just click on your token? Yeah. I'm sure if you read what it says above the 19. I don't know what that means. It should give you a message that talks about. The fact that you didn't select a token. Roll 1d20 plus 2 initiative. No. 17 plus 2, 19. No. It's okay. Click your token again. Roll. Yup. There we go. I mean, it's. I was gonna say it still makes you next, <laughs> depending on what crumbar does. <laughs> uh, right, crumbar anything else? Uh, nah, I'm good. Brave. Okay. Can I ask, Greg, so did that actually do any damage or did it just whack off a shield? I mean, how good's your medicine score, right? Um, I mean, so gonna it, make it connected, a, uh, right? And then you heard a scraping yeah. stone sound. So, yeah, that's what you get. Um, so the man's made a stone. No. Oh uh, yeah. I will move to the. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, actually, I need to make a save. Sorry for him. Uh, two seconds. Because. I really wish I'd been there in this order before your crumb bar. Honestly, uh, done something doesn't really matter if it's an advantage or not. That's fine. Uh, cool. You did good, Crumbar, put it that way. Yay! Yeah, so I'll answer that question a bit more accurately now for you. You hear a scraping of stone, and your brow furrows, and you look at them, and you look at your axe, and there is a tiny drop of blood on the axe. Ooh. Ooh. Somehow it cleaned itself between the absolute bloody mess of the chiefs. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for this oh, to matter. Oh, pick out. Oh, where's the... Where's the... It's nowhere. Anyway, are you? No. Right, you've moved. I have, yeah. And then what's next? And, um, well, if, if, if only we didn't have a crumb bar there, because I was going to do something really mean and really wicked and really probably totally deserved, but in that case, the only thing I can do. Because, you know, I don't want to kill crumb bar. And Remember, I have a line. Remember, if I drop to zero, I just get back up again. Unless the attack that drops you takes the whole of your max health, you die instantly. Oh, I don't want okay. To do that. Let's. let's it's like I, I. Okay, in that case, I don't want to die. Also, are so. you? Did you, can you repeat what you said there? Are you? I was, I was saying I'm not going to do it because... I wasn't going to do it because at like 8d6 I would have been rolling. Mm. However, I will expend another luck point just to see if I'm... Do we roll your attack? Yeah. 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 Cool. 20, 20, 20. That would be too much. Much luck have you got left? Hit would be lovely. I have one more point at this point. Okay. And that doesn't happen, but hey. Didn't fine, you use luck in previous sessions, no? Yeah, I was going to say, how many did you originally start with? Cause... You get three per long rest. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I used one last, last oh, okay, session. So... I was sure I did. Okay, never mind then. I was sure I didn't, but that's fine. Aren't you tracking this somehow? Um... I was, I was, but I've made so many notes that I don't understand my own writing. But like, <laughs> so, on your sheet, on your character sheet in Rule 20, You've actually, okay. there's a resource there that's luck points. Yeah. 
Okay. So I yes. could swear that you've used it already in a previous session before you've long rested. That's why I put it to zero now. Cool. So I, I think you'd be at zero anyway, even if that was us now. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I put it to zero just because I'm, I'm assuming that the last session I used one. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I, I would I would need to honestly go back and listen to it, but I'm definitely sure you did. I think what I need you to start doing is putting in that you've used it yep, yep. into the chat. Um, and the easier way to do that is just to literally click the speech bubble like this. Or that, yeah. Yeah. Um, or just type lucky used to reroll or something. Okay. Um, cool. That's fine. And we'll, we'll track it that way. Excellent. Okay. Um, You've got a bonus action. I do indeed. Um, I mean, I could try to heal Crumbar more just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. He still looks beat up, so yeah. Yeah. And also. Oh, that's level 2 spell. Um, yeah, I'll give him a little bit more, just in case. Thank you. You is most welcome. I just also mark it, because if I don't mark it, then it's bad. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yep. Five more health. Plus five. Nice. Yay! Nice. Reach. Right, let's see. Right, I should have been measuring this, but shit. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. So you can go like a hundred foot that way if you want. <laughs> um, struggling to get close enough. Not really. We're going to get close enough. Like that's fifty there, mm -hmm. and just do a radiant punch, right? Go cool. to that dude, of course. Right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, heads. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, decent damage. Two seconds. Max damage. And nicely done. Right. So. As I run a punch, I do still have bonus. Bonus would be run or. Uh, cool. Ooh. They also don't matter. Yeah. Of course they don't, but you just roll them just for the. Yeah, why just not? Just a habit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I will be real stupid and go behind them, but unfortunately that doesn't count much for DD, &D, but cool. okay. And how are you doing that? Running past them? So you've Do got... Go doing. That's my bonus action. Right, as a... To what's a the run move? as an action. So no, as a, a run. As a monk, can you do this as a bonus action? Because it takes an action to run more. I don't. Is it a... So I do think I've got two... Uh, so I'm going to put you back to where you were. And Sorry, you're going to find out... Yep. I don't. I yep, don't. Cool. That's okay. Uh, don't you have another attack you can use, though? No, I need to punch him. Oh yeah, or have my monk weapon. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I uh, could spend a key and do that extra run, but I'm not going to. Right. That's okay, so there is a way you can do it. It's just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, also, you can't move through enemies. Remember. Ah, uh, can you like do we fancy do 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 we fancy dance? But anyway, I'll stay yeah. there. <laughs> 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 I mean, that would be an acrobatics check. But yeah, <laughs> um, out of all the characters I would probably let do that, probably you, but you'd be an acrobatics check, but yeah, cool. Right, right. so, the red robe man. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think they are going to do this, because why not? Supernova. <laughs> Um, let's see. Hmm. 
I think that's a real bad idea. Yeah, I'd do something else. Hey, you're actually correct. It is a bad idea, so I'm not going to do it. I, it sounded I, painful anyway. <laughs> Hold on. It was what I had to read all all the details because my yeah. god, annoying. And yeah, I think they're just gonna reach out and touch face. To be honest, so as my action, I'm gonna go and this is boop against Krumbar. Fuck. That's a 23. Touches you shockingly. 14 lightning damage. Don't be too shocked by that. Oh my god, that's terrible. On the hit, the target can't make take reactions into it. Okay. Yeah, so no reactions for you, Boyle. I'm just going to yeah. pip you with red since I normally do that. Um, right, and then. He is gonna go. Just two away. Kitlith. Oh, so he's not teleporting. No. Mm. Um. He's essentially just touched Crumbar. Electric to the point where a crumbar. I like, need no doubt. Yeah, and then he's just walked away, turned his back on him, because he's a smug guy that way, you know. Yeah. And him and crumbar have a wee bit of a history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna gonna move next to the fireplace, and then I'm gonna shoot my arrows. Okay. Seems <laughs> legit. Seems like something I totally wouldn't do. That's really out of character for me. <laughs> Who is this person? Oh, actually. I'm going to use magic missile. Oh, nice. That is out of character for me. That is actually out of character for you. <laughs> Alright. One. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're all at him. Yup. Do I miss? Uh, you can't miss. Never. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's that? So, the first attack, and then the second attack, and then the last attack. Cool. So, what are your magic missile, what do the actual bolts of it look like? Because it's bolts uh, of force, so... Like, I just picture them as lightning-ish glowing arrows, okay. like pure white light arrows mm -hmm. to me. Cool. So like, you so summon them and affinity then for arrows, apparently. fire them all forward. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically your magic crossbow bolts. Foom. Yeah. Because um, like, they wouldn't know what a missile actually looks like in this era of time. <laughs> so like just this weird round cylinder thing with fins on, I'm like... <laughs> well, that's cool. the modern day equivalent of it, yeah. There's a... <laughs> it's on the whole printed on yeah. the cylinder or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got Yeehaw an angry on face on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shark face, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so these uh, three bolts fire in. And it obviously catches his attention. He spins around and he gets like smacked with the three of them. Um, but you see, as they like impact to them, like they kind of dissipate into like a kind of shimmery shield. But it does look like he, it's hurt him. Yeah. But it does seem like his shield's absorbed some of the blow. Damn it. Yep. I'm uh, gonna use my cunning action to hide. Where? <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay. So I cannot still... see anything. <laughs> <laughs> My vision has just gone to crap. <laughs> Stop. Don't fail me. Right, so let's see. So you were here? Yeah. So 25 and then let's see down there. So how are you getting 50 movement? Talk me through that. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> just go hide under the wagon. <laughs> yeah. So you, can like, I do that? you could totally <laughs> go from here to there. To there, because you have 35, right? Yeah. Normally. So yeah, you could go there and, and we can see that was your stealth roll for there, shall we? Yeah. You power slide under the wagon. 
cool. <laughs> um, right. Do I hide though? That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> and then I well, use your connection to hide. So yeah. Eric. Oh, so the fifteen was fine. Yeah, I said I said that. Yes. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Too busy going. Oh no, my move. <laughs> <laughs> So you hear the exactly. familiar crackle of electricity, Eric. I'm like, my pie don't know how to do that. <laughs> Get loose standing, <laughs> casting lightning like the Emperor. Wait, I thought magic missile was that in, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm talking about when he zapped you. Ah. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah, it did. So I'm going to run here. It's not even a spell wagon. for him. And I see him. And I... You see him seeing you seeing him. Wait. Yeah, which bottom? Nice. Yeah. At level three! That was so loud. I mean, does it do anything extra than level two? I feel like it doesn't, but oh well. Was that not three damages all then? So... Um, no, it's two damages. So it's a uh, the eight and the the seven. Oh, the frost must tear, of course. Yeah, Twenty-one. Um, okay. I'm gonna re-roll that three. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Spend such a thing. In one d eight. Is it d eight? Yeah. And it's now a five. Nice. Cool. It's now seventeen. Seven. Oh, and I got put concentration. Cool. Seventeen and. I'm going to pip him in blue, and then... This is out of my hammer, so it's nice red lightning. Okay. I'm not going to pip him in red, because that's a different meaning. Uh, right, okay, so what was it, 17 damage? Mm. Okay. Cool. Again, starts crackling into him, and obviously, like, it seems to be doing that plasma globe effect all over his kind of, like, shimmering kind of facade, as it were. And uh, let's see. Where is the thing? Let's do the thing. It's not that one, it's the other one. Okay, it's another thing, a different thing. Dun dun dun. Oh. <laughs> And then Excuse me. Any, zappy zap. Adjust this. I am hidden so underneath the car. Let's see. This it's needs to become a drawing. And then it needs to move over. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> tilt. And, uh, My god. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I got you covered, don't worry. Limited car! Uh, right, okay. So, Dakana, I think, just shouts to you, Who is this? And that's to you. It, who is she shouting to? Eric. Alright. <laughs> this guy, one shot three of us. He needs to die. He's a bad man. She's an under <laughs> face one shot, so. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly killed three of us. This guy is. In one spell. He's a he cunt. <laughs> He's a cunt. And I think you just, like, as you're looking at her, you just see, like, the crackling lightning reflecting in her eyes, obviously, because of how close she is to you and you're crazy, like, holding your hands out with arcs of lightning hitting them. Uh, and then she's like, oh, good enough. Pulls up her bow. <laughs> and uh, she's going to make these arrows count, let's face it. For ba. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Oh, good. I'm back. Excellent. Everybody else here? Or is it just me? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm here. Just, right. just, yeah. just me. Excellent. Good, good. And a uh, boom. Yay. She's helping. Let's shove this to the Front and then to the map there and to get rid of it for now. Uh, right, okay, so cool, yep, fires narrow, smacks off the guy. Not happy, of course. 
Uh, she's at 12, I believe, now. Right, okay, cool. Next. Grumbar. I think, is it the start of your next turn that is? And can't take until the start? Yeah, so that is no longer a red pip. Hmm. So, as that red pip comes off... <laughs> Your head's you up display, the game. pip goes away, yeah. yep. Um, you just kind of see me kind of taking in, like, hyperventilating and, you know, sweating buckets. Cracks so. of electricity, like, sparking between, like, the joints of your armour and stuff as it's, like, working its way out, yeah. Yeah, so I'm uh, just look down at my hands and they're going to glow a nice wee golden colour and then I'm going to just... Slam them onto my chest and so you go drop your axe. Hand <laughs> <laughs> and go boop for twenty. Nice. Boom. And then I'm gonna go. I'm actually just going to end my turn there. Okay. So not moving? No. Cool. No point. Okay. Yeah, yeah I went oh, I went there. Uh, a very clever move, I'll have you know. Uh, are you? So... So you just see this guy being pummeled by lightning, he's been shot by like magical crossbow bolts. Um. Yeah, Kick him like in the deck. An arrow, obviously, and the like. The fletching of the arrow is obviously just money, so because <laughs> the kinda. So. Well, I may have um, something of my my own mm. that I was uh, was thinking of doing. I um. One second. I'm trying to figure it out. So I point my finger at Tim. Okay. And do you see a, a streak of red blossoming from my finger, and uh, um, there's a, a flame like starting at his feet, basically. And each creature centered on that one. So this is thirty saving throw. Let me just put this through it. One second. Okay. So you're casting a spell, it sounds like. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> one second, because it doesn't appear on the... One second, what am I doing wrong here? Okay. Yes, it is that. Cool. And you're cool. Set, you're setting it on him, yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Bear with me. I'm so pleased none of, none of you made bear noises. Um I'm seconds. guessing that because I'm saying the spell I don't get to say anything to him, right? Uh yeah, because you're saying magical words. I uh, thought so, but I just thought I'd ask anyway. Okay, so I will get us a token. Boop. And then... Boop. And then... Why is there a big fire thingy over there? <laughs> so I think the aura is 10 if I'm right in thinking, is that right? That doesn't look right. Because that's 5, 10. Right, so I'm going to adjust this so that that actually goes back to... If that makes sense, I'll make this thing the size it should be. Right, so if I put that if there... If that damages any of us, then I'll kill them. But and I just thought that... And it's radius 20, yeah. That would be really cool. So it's radius 20. Cool. So, bam. 
<laughs> All of that becomes a fireball. Right, so uh, make your deck save, Crumber. Yeah. Like I said, if I if I've hurt if this hurts you, well, it will hurt you. I'll heal you back up, but but bloody hell. Okay, so you take. It should have been the other way around. Damn it! So you take twenty-six fire damage. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, twenty-six fire damage. Fuck. I will heal you on. Right. I miscalculated. I didn't realize you were that close. <laughs> what, you miscalculated fire? Yeah, I should have put it on the actual tent. I, But I already said I put it at this speed and I. And I did don't ask where you put it. Again, so yeah. what I've said. I'm sorry, I didn't realize too, until too late and then I didn't <laughs> want to change because you wouldn't change it. It wouldn't be fair and such. It's fine. Right, I need to take damage as well. Cool. Well, I'm quite sure Crumbar himself would not be fine with that, considering how freaking <laughs> suspicious he's been of me. Mistress of the flame, flames, Crumbar. Yeah. Right. Now, <laughs> that is a massive like conflagration of like fire, right? So, yeah. dear God. Right. Yeah. Right. Just for story wise, can I roll like? Perception or insight to see if I know it was Arya that cast that. I mean, you heard her say magical fire words. And All right, okay. Right. And a fireball launched from her and it hit him. So, yeah. Okay, no yeah. worries. A couple wee heads. Yeah. It's kind of like how, even though you're attacking him like that, you can still like know if this guy's going to come closer to you for like a reaction, etc. Right. You know, okay. like there's no facing rules in this. So I feel that applies the same, unless if somebody was trying to hide, like Kitty, and then shoot the guy, she'd be hidden after she shot him. But maybe you wouldn't know it was her that fired it. Blah blah blah. Do you get what I mean? Like there's yeah, people would okay. have to be actively trying to hide stuff, um, which is quite difficult in D and D. Um, but yeah, nicely done, are you? A big Arya now saying, "I don't know what you mean by Mistress of the Flame. It's going to sound a wee bit more on you." Yeah, <laughs> as she's like, "Our our bow is on fire. She shoots fire arrows. She just cast fireball." No, 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 no. I I get that, but I don't understand why he's calling me like. Yeah. Because um, they came up with that like. Yeah. Before anyway, it doesn't the, really make sense to me, and so, the idea so, of like wielding so fire does not necessarily mean I master fire in any way. So. When the fireball hits and engulfs them both in the fire, the edges of the flame, everybody who isn't in the fire can see, flicker green. Hmm. Evil. Huh? Spell flame. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Says the guy's flickers blue pretty much every time of the day. And then, <laughs> like, has a red evil hammer that feeds from him. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Guess you should know. <laughs> <laughs> right, me. Yeah, just because you know, I'm not salty at all. Mm. How come uh, Reach didn't take damage? Because he's not in the bubble. Yeah. Do I change the colour of the bubble? Wondering. What I'm, bubble? I think I'm right on the edge. Yeah, we can't actually see it, which got me wondering. But no, it's because it's because I, I moved it to a different layer. Because um, I'm going to bring it back. Right, so I'm going to bring it back. So right. delete it because I'm glad I didn't. Because this is obviously important. Yeah, no, I can see the fireball icon, but I don't see any border to ah, it. Ah, you know, there we go. That'll be why. I understand. I never set the, so the token to have it... the aura visible. You see it now? Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. close. Yeah. So uh, Reach is still in it, though. I'm just going to make no, this. No, I'm not. Right, there we go. I'm Let's right make it more edge obvious. I just see a big red yeah. square. Yeah. 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 My bald Where's head Reach? gets a bit more bolder, but that's... He's there. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, he's not. Really? You're right there on my screen. He is not. Yeah. Right here on mine. I am here. You uh, are I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to refresh. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're literally two squares in front of me. Roll 20. Thank you for being great. We love you. It's a disgusting spell, but this is this is why... 
fifth level characters are amazing. Hey, you've moved now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time in Fatals there was when she ran flee. So I fleed away 100 meters, 100 feet, and I'm back 100 I think feet. this is maybe from the time where you wanted to go to the other side of the guy. And then I moved you back because you oh, didn't have the yeah. other movement. Right. It's probably from then. Right. Um, but yeah, oh, well, that's fireball. It's, it's, it's a glorious spell. Uh, but anyway. Okay, in that case, holy fuck. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that again. Cool. So. Uh, whose turn is it anyway? Any bonus actions? Are you? Um, I'll send a healing spell you to Kramar so he doesn't think that I'm like. You have, yeah. you have cast so, a spell. You cannot cast oh, another spell. Oh, so even though it's a bonus close. action, I can't. Okay, never mind. Yep. So if your spells cost a spell slot, you can't do two. So if you had a cantrip you wanted to do, you could do a cantrip yeah. if it was a bonus action. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That explains a few things. Cool, thank you. No, I don't get to do anything And make else. sure you've marked off a third level spell slot for that spell as well. Done that. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, anything else bonus-wise? No? Any movement? Okay, cool. Reach. So you've just been literally on the edge of this kind of like explosion from Arya yeah, and this like orange fire that then like flickers out to green at the edges. You've seen that before. Yeah. Where have we seen it before? The hellhole fire. Uh, the yeah. It had flickery green edges. Oh too. yeah, when the uh, Th Destroyer was. Well, oh, the, the whole uh, time the fire was blazing. Quite frankly. This is why I call it evil. Yeah. And yeah, quite rightly so. Destroyer did absorb it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get closer then, we might not. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just walk through the fire, right? Do that cool badass shot. I <laughs> was going to say. Lines. The fire did dissipate pretty much immediately, doesn't it? It might be hanging in the air a wee bit. But not like, gonna... So let's put it this way. I think all the tents that were in that range are on fire. The the thing that uh, Kitty's yeah. hiding behind is half on fire. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of fire, but. It doesn't cause, like, like if you jumped into the burning tent, yeah, it maybe cause you damage. Yeah. Be. But yeah, yeah you can go yeah. up there. I'll stay this side of the tent, but I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's uh, fine. Right. Stunning strike. Oofed. Do do. Just do. So take away my key. Key and. That's just a normal attack. What key you got left? Yeah, right. One after Oof. this. So yeah. Right. Please work. Damn. It does not hit. Yeah, I thought that. I am still going to try this once mm -hmm. more time. So, other key going. Cool. Oh, no man. way! <laughs> A man! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Case. Hey, so. now you're back there! Just <laughs> 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 I'm going to punch Crumbar. Oh, <laughs> you just hit your hand on the armor. It's really hot <laughs> and electrical. Crumbar's uh, becoming the avatar. He's learning the pain of the four elements. Um, <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just learning pain. Yeah. Stay here anyway, but um. That's... Okay. okay. Uh, right. Red robed man's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. He's gonna go and do. What's he gonna do? Well, he's not happy that he's been burnt a little bit. That's, that's kind of rude. Gonna do. Yeah, that is the rudest. Yeah. Bad boys. That's what I was thinking of yet. Yeah, that's exactly the tune I was doing. Yeah, but it was bad boys. <laughs> What's he gonna do when he comes for you? Shocking grasp. Can you picture that as a massive transference on my eggs lightning in me? Okay. Yeah, like maybe uh, like, as you maybe go punch punch, maybe the last one he grabs your hand and then obviously he's channeling the lightning from Eric into you for the the eighteen because that is a cool shot. Oh what do I? Yeah. And I can't count. Right. Cool. Uh, right, you can't take reactions, so give yourself a wee red pip, and 
yeah, what's he going to do? Yeah, he's going to, yeah, we'll do that, that's cool. Kitty, you are hidden still. Um, yeah, I am. <laughs> there was a wave of heat briefly. <laughs> Has it gone out now, or is it still technically on fire? Hey, well, the cart and stuff and the tents and all that are all on fire, yeah. So oh, okay. It's, it's not um, like a blaze, though, it's just the half of it is gonna burn eventually. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna roll out and. Gun, 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 gun. There, I guess. Cool. Um, obviously, gonna shoot my two arrows. Of course. Pew, pew! <laughs> Got to mark them off before as well. That I can always be counted on for um, sound effects. Ooh la la! It hits. Nice. And again. Uh, it does not hit. No. Would that not be a sneak attack since she's hidden? Uh, she'd have to have said sneak attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Is she looking I'll... like a pinkishin right now? <laughs> I will sneakily hide again. <laughs> but I will this time <laughs> hide <laughs> over here <laughs> behind a wall. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually... Uh, no. Actually, um, that is all right. I was gonna say it. So I'm gonna go back to my like you can go can... like. Bop. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to use your cunning action to hide? Yes. Go roll. Let me see if I've got this. Stop. Oh, <gasps> nice. Nicely nice. Oh yeah, boy. So like, what my character just did was roll out. Fire two arrows and just like keep rolling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a six second piece of music until she's there. <laughs> it's almost like from the US <laughs> office parkour scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Only actually cooler and oh. more dapper. Okay, Eric. I mean, should I technically be there? Nah, no, I can't. That's fine. Nothing. No, nope, it's fine. I will stay there because I am still hidden. Yeah. <laughs> I am one with the door frame. Yeah, or the gate of the compound, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. I like how Kitty's job is basically just stay hidden, roll out, fuck shit up, walk away. <laughs> yeah. I just realised. Like, every time. You've realised? Um, I rolled a d8 when it should have been a d12 for my uh, sorcery point, but yeah. Such a terrible sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I've got like a fault with like six. Like, is it maybe because I said to Crumbar like, roll an extra d8 for his smite? Is that did that linger? Maybe who knows? Doesn't matter. Maybe um, it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna. I'm like, just gonna do, do damage. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's a nice roll. Yeah. Cool. So he's still like having like half of this lightning crawl over him. Um, as he's like thematically holding on to reach, but he isn't really anymore. Um, anything else? Bonus action? I'm still screaming unlimited power. And I'm just going to stay here. Cool. The can is just going to. I like the idea that the entire time the can just watched Kitty do that. And then just roll away. <laughs> and then it's like, okay. And then just without even looking, she's still looking outside the gate and just lets go of the arrow. Towards the guy, <laughs> and she misses because she's in the watch watching you. <laughs> she's on what eleven? No, uh, cool. Okay, right. Uh, Grumbar. Oof. So uh, you're you're crispy, Grumbar now. Yeah, Grumbar just kind of brush himself off and. Uh, Don't you still uh, technically have five healing left, though? Yep. Cool. Just in and, case. You uh, you know, put put out the uh, the 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 wee embers in my beard and whatnot. Mm -hmm. it's Crumbar's had a day. Crumbar. <laughs> Crumbar is so healing. It's it's friendly done. fire. I he, he used Sorry. twenty moments ago. I used I used yeah, twenty oh, okay, so, because yeah. I thought I'll be nice. I'll leave five behind in case somebody else needs it. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody. <laughs> It's fine, I'll heal you more. <laughs> right, well, okay, wait, if that's the case... 
but you wouldn't know that. And yeah, yeah, you wouldn't them. know that. I, d I yeah, don't know. Do you trust me now? Yeah, right. Because in theory, if you I did think... trust her, you would know that she'd heal you really, right? Like you maybe right. think maybe maybe she will, but then why did you heal yourself last turn if you thought she would, right? And then you walked into her fireballing you after he's been like, "Hey, mistress, wink, wink." I yeah. Uh... Okay, before I make my move, I uh, just turn around and kind of give Ari a glance. Just like kind of... Would you say the seething glare? Yeah, just like kind of... <laughs> Showing his fiery spirit. <laughs> just like... <laughs> just like, you, just like heated she tempers. was just angry and, and aimed wrong and, and she... It's it, new it, to her though, right? It's new. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more that kind of Jesus Christ! It's like you know that you know the scene by in the, great, the escape. great gold worm. You mean right? <laughs> yeah, but you know the scene in the Great Escape where you're only meant to blow the bloody doors off. Mm -hmm. You're you only know? meant to burn the bloody what? tents up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, you're um, not supposed to blow the bloody beard off. Yeah, there's lots of variations of this. You're not supposed to blow the crumb bar up. <laughs> Um, I'm glad you set up. I'm so pleased you set up. But carry on. <laughs> so, I give her a wee kind of that kind of look and give her a wee kind of humph and then just go both to there and Crumbar's angry. Nope, so I need you to make a save. From Jesus, here? Fire. Uh, nope, just the fact, like, as soon as you go one forward, I need you to make a save. And it is a charisma save. And it's against a DC 17. Ooh. What for? Twelve or higher for you, though. You'll see. <laughs> Just oh. make it, and I'll paste it in chat now. Can I just point oh out? My. I am a sexy motherfucker. He'd prep that. Attempt this thing? Yeah. One. Oh he, my he, God. he tried this on you before. Remember. What an absolute penis weasel! So remember, <laughs> remember last time you said yeah. you said, "Oh, I'll move here," and he thought, "No, actually, no, I'm fine where I am." He would have done the same mm -hmm. to you then. <laughs> um. Well, literally, the only reason I didn't move is because I thought Reach was there, and I was like, "Oh, cool, he'll take some damage." Yeah. <laughs> and he wasn't. It was a ghost. And, um. and that is why I also <laughs> held back five HP to you. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Next time we should all clarify wherever there is. Marco, Poldo. Um, right, okay. Uh, so, okay, yeah, you so feel this, like, compulsion again, and you manage to, like, again, just through sheer will of Crumbar, like, shake off. I kind of like that idea that since he has used it on me before, mm -hmm. I'm like, I know this feeling. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of, like, nope, not going to work this time, bro. And then move up to there. Which obviously he's not happy about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's his reaction. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, so why did that take away his blue pip? There we go. Uh, yeah, you missed. So, that feel miserably, but it's okay because I also have a But I like the idea that maybe it was like you run in and he tries that and you shake it off and that's what makes you miss the first attack. You look up growling and smack into him with the second attack. Yeah, that hits. Uh, yeah, so that hits like a train, mm. and I am going. Whatever those are. <laughs> um, it it's hits. Like an adventure. Yeah. It, <laughs> it hits like a rampaging mongoose. Okay, whatever those are. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll do a whoa at level. How many spell slots you got left, buddy? Because I know you were pretty fully charged, so. That's my level two's gone now. Woofed. So we've so, got eleven damage on top of. Yeah, and then the I roll a one d eight. Do you? Yeah. So for because I use divine smite level two. It's already rolled it. Oh, there's already rolled it. It's above okay. the nine. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, and then I will do a whoppa. Right, okay, so we've got from there, and then... Uh, just for the record, Ryan, I've only got two level ones left. Cool, so 11. Cool, yeah. You smack into him with Divine Smite. Nice. Doesn't look happy. 
it is a very crumber is in, is in a very kind of i want to hurt something kind of mood right now yeah and he looks pretty hurt by it right what what like hurt like physically or hurt like he hasn't heard from his mum in a while it can be two things. <laughs> it can be two things. Uh, I, I've, I've been taking a lot of painkillers today, you guys, sorry. And so is Crumbar. I um, almost choked on yeah. half a cake there. Anything else, Crumbar? Um, no, no, that's a brain. Is the Red Road Band not on fire? No, why? I thought Divine Smite put them on fire. Searing Smite. No, that's Searing ah, Smite. He has a selection of Smites in his Smite caddy. <laughs> One might say we are smitten by them. Mm. For every occasion. Electrifying. Uh, Arya. Sorry. Mistress. Arya realizes <laughs> <laughs> that everybody's kind of getting in her face now. <laughs> so she's going to move. <laughs> I love how she's like the most alone on the entire field of battle. So everything's getting in my face. <laughs> to a fireball again. Look, they're all clustered. And I will just shoot at it, because... Cool. Despite what people might think, I am not actually... You know, bad guy infiltrated in the party. Why? I'll never know. <laughs> Man, that bow hates you just now, doesn't it? I feel it does. Like it does. Probably because of him, because right, so you know he's done something. To let's it. shoot hypothetically, right? Hypothetically, say you were shooting at Crumbar next. Can you roll the bow again? <laughs> By the way, I've just realised I was saying it was a, a the Great Escape. It's an Italian job we've done yeah, about that. I was. That, yeah. yeah. Wrong one. I know. How I was thinking that. That's fine. But, but yeah, See, Rick, it's, it's not. Right. It's not cursed. It's just. It Indeed. just doesn't like you at all. Yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Um, right. So. But, yep. You can do a bonus action. That's now. that's. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um. I have two level ones and one level two remaining. Oh, what do I do? Fuck it. I'll do this. And that's my level two spells gone. <laughs> okay, okay. Yay! I'm hoping that's for me. Yes, it is. Imagine yeah, it was me. for my guy. Why? Thank you, I, my mistress. Yeah. I, I would, I would personally drive I'll be down like, to sorry, London. Sorry, didn't mean to catch you in that. <laughs> if you did that, I would drive down to London right now just to tap on your door and just go. What did I do to you? <laughs> Why? Remember that time you cast those spells against her and you made her try to lose her free will? No. No. I uh, that, that, no. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. Oh. Uh, Adrian, it's if you have not. Hit... That basically. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> um, if you've not seen the Italian job, watch that. Uh, clip <laughs> I just put up because that's exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, the, the the remake was terrible. But yeah, that's that's the kind of look I had on my face. Understandable. Very understandable. Uh, right, two seconds. Also, one of the greatest movie lines in movie history, I think. I need to. Uh, also, also in Budge casting the Sundance kid. As also, well. I just realised I've not used my full movement, right? Uh, probably not. Definitely not, because I've got like 30. Okay, so I've used 15. I'll get myself back there for reasons. Sneaky reasons. Not necessarily. You really think you're in your fireball again, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just realized like I've healed that guy is up now, but I think they're still like locked inside there, so they can't help even if they wanted to. So I was trying to make my way to the door and open it. Right, okay. I am somehow somehow ready for this. Uh, dear God. Uh, oh, yeah, is that everything? Me. Cool, yeah. cool. Mark off arrow and such. Uh, and spell yep, slot yep, yep. and such. Uh, reach. 
this guy has oh, been right. hit by like arrows and bolts and lightning and he's still being hit by lightning and then a crumbar several times with divine energy. And I'm going to just punch him. And you're no longer with pips as well, yeah. so I'll unpip you. Ah, right. Okay. Please, that has It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo. Yeah, decent. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Exact same again. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Ooh la la! And. So. Uh, bonus action, yeah, I can do one more. I, I, would, I, I, I would just wait. I'll wait a wee sec. Yeah, I'd, I'd wait. So, uh Two decent hits. And that was just the straw that broke the camera's so, back. <laughs> he collapses. Falls to the <laughs> ground. <laughs> the lightning stops, obviously, crackling because it no longer has a valid target. And something cool. Yeah, there's a body there. <laughs> and, uh Yeah. So this thing is like, you know... Parts of it are still flickering on fire, it still look scorched and whatnot. And Let's see if we can find out who he is. Yeah. Uh, reach Delegation from bar. Mm -hmm. Roll <laughs> perception. Perception. He's going to have advantage on this. Yay! Yeah. Ba 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 ba! So you see this green energy start to like leak out of this man's like eyes, mouth, like the kind of wounds that he's received as well, and all slowly starts to like coalesce. And then as it kind of like leaves him, it then starts to like almost as if it's like eating away I, at the flesh, and like you hear like crunching of bones. What do you do? He's got a self-destruct button. I'm definitely not going to touch it. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh yeah. Can I uh, make like a tree and get the fuck out of here? I mean, yeah. Reach can finish doing his turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've got bonus. That's all. But, and I've got movement. Right. Okay. You get me away with you. I don't have an action. Uh, I think actually to drag you, I need an action, don't I? But or do yeah, I? Yeah, you would. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, okay, just... Kind of <laughs> just look what's happening like Grumbar, <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> As you vetter go zoom your way all the way back over there. <laughs> I was always over here. In long step. Um, cool, anything else? Uh, hold on, I've got bonus action. Can mm -hmm. I try and punch this gate open I'm next to? Sure, why not? I presume it's locked. But no. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> but just so just yeah, headset. Just attack, yeah. Yeah. Yep, the damage. I do hit it, right, cool. Cool. Yep. You break your hand. Yeah, it looks pretty mangled. You could probably like spend just an action pulling it apart next time. Right. Cool. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good Lysel time. Lysel broke his hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, Lysel just, he just like, put his like fingers up against the, the kind of lock part where it's all like barricaded and he did that Kill Bill one inch punch thing where he then just <laughs> boom and the thing just mightily cracks with a kind of like thunder crack. So anyway, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so I think we can all say farewell oh, to our favourite buddy. Right. I'm on the wrong layer. I'm not saying yeah. farewell crumbar yet. Give him a minute. <laughs> I want to approach and like so, properly investigate. So look at that, there he's there. Oh, he's sad, he's crying and such. Also, it's not your turn. Oh, we're still turn order. Yeah, we're, we're still in turn order. Pardon? Back you go. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah, and the energy keeps coalescing and coalescing and cracking more and more of the bones and the ropes start to like get caught up as if caught in the wind. And then he ceases to be recognisable. Right. Good news, Crumper. Wasn't it? Why, why is that fireball back? <laughs> uh, is the fireball back? No, it shouldn't be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's gone. It I is. shot my pantaloons. <laughs> yeah. But it's bigger, brother. 
fire <laughs> meteor. <laughs> Fireball uh, number two. No. Oh, dude. And this thing appears cackling. Oh, crap. Bits of him hanging off. That's an ugly <sighs> twin brother. Like this green engine leaking out of him and the spaces between his lips and stuff. And he just cackles. And he just kind of says to you, Grumbar, like kind of half manic. He's like, I told you. This doesn't matter. And he just kind of like gestures to himself, like kind of theatrically. Um, and let's see what he does. He... He looks like the Phantom of the Opera with a severe lack of talent. A lot of natural ability, though, really, if he's dressed like that, and face like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean... He's ready for it. He needs to mask and that's him sorted. Cool. Uh, right, I need Crumbar to make a... To, to just... Wisdom Drop 12 saving throw. Oh, something not very good. What you attempt to beguile a creature? Wisdom here. saving throw. Let's get it done. Let's see what happens. One hour. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that. Oh. Come on, let's plug it up. Actually, I don't know it. It is, let's see. I need to 17. Find, I need to find the part where it tells me. No. It's not yeah. enough. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You get your chance. Oh. <laughs> Shoot Trumper. Shoot the cow. So. Crumbar. Yes. <laughs> Crumber isn't here just now. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> yeah. So I think we'll do. What's that? There we go. I'll be padlock. Ooh, kinky. All yeah, no, right. <laughs> um. So. TMI. He points at the group. And he says, Kill them. That'll be the moment for somebody to go sleep or something like that. I'm also going to add him to the order now. Because I foolishly deleted the other token. Uh, I mean, it would make sense that he's after re roll because he's kind of uh, a new guy, right? No, not really. It's a second form bullshit thing. Um, I can't remember what it was, Fucking but realistically, anything that's under you're, reach you're, is fine. So I think it was a nine you got. You've just been watching the Freezer Saga again, haven't you? I've seen another Dragon Ball Z. So anyway, moving on. It is. Okay. Another D2 is Dragon Ball. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, because <laughs> I am in stealth mode, I will sneak attack. Oh, hoo. Shoot, Matt Crossbow. Obviously, it's a uh, school uh, dude. Of course. What's the range? Gonna, um, that is an excellent question. How do we find out again? And let's see. You have fired it recently, so let's scroll up instead of having you shoot again. So it's going to be at disadvantage technically. So you definitely don't have advantage on the shot, so you wouldn't get sneak attack. Damn it. Right. You would just be doing a normal attack. Yeah. But the advantage is cancelling at the disadvantage, right? <laughs> so it's just a normal attack for the first one. I mean, surely you could get closer, right? Or then run away. Why are you she so wouldn't then quiet? be hidden. Uh, she gets the advantage only if she's hidden. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So she could essentially take the shot normally here or move and take the shot normally. So. It's six yeah. and a half dozen. Uh, I'm asking a million questions because I fine. have a character that's level three rogue and I don't quite know what rogues do, which is bad. That's fine. It's, I don't mind if people ask how things work. I'd rather he's asked. Mm. What is the distance again? Is it 30? Yeah. 
3120. <laughs> the way I do it is well. I measure from them. Well, yeah. Oh, I'll have to go there. Man. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going back to this spot then. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna shoot my arrow. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do magic missile again. Okay, okay. Oh, what's the range on that? Like 120 or 150 or something. So I could sneak attack with that. Mm, no, because it doesn't have an attack oh. roll. Oh uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Meh. Cool. Doesn't matter. He's just gonna shield. Ah, uh, a waste. Yep. So as you do that, he pulls up his hand, and they all kind of like dissipate as like green energy eats them, as they just kind of like fizzle out. And he just says to you, "Not this time." And he's staring at you, like green energy is leaking from his eye. That's kind of staring at you with a twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my cunning action. <laughs> To dash. <laughs> to run away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, but it's 95. I can... There we go. I yep. can't see anything that fast. <laughs> Are you sure I'm not so cab? Um, okay. Eric. <laughs> you're, not long, you're no longer concentrating, by the way, buddy. Uh, yeah. Right. So, I've been reading my flexible casting. Okay. And I cannot see if I use a bonus, like my bonus action, or not to make them. To do what? To make a convert, slot. Well, to com to make sorcery points to make a slot. So, I have to do so are you saying that you need to? Right. Okay. Cool. I know what you mean now. So you need to do yeah. both stages. You, so you have no sorcery points, is what you're saying? I have three, How but I don't have enough to. Uh, I want five. Okay. Cool. So you want to burn a level two slot. Two level ones. Right, you can't do that, I don't believe. So let's find out exactly what you can do. Because I'm pretty sure that's two individual things. You'd need to do it one by one. So, uh, creating slots, right? So oh, you, I am. You that's create a bonus them. action. Yep, right there, yep. And also, the other one is as a bonus action on your turn, you can turn one spell slot and gain that level in sorcery points. So, had you a level two, you could bonus action now, get two more points, then next turn bonus action and create. Right, cool. We're doing that. Cool. So if you've got a uh, level, do you have level twos left? Yeah, yeah, I've got level twos left. Cool. Then you can do that. Cool. Could be up to five then. There you go. Not fifty-six. Oof. <laughs> That'd <God>. be amazing. <laughs> I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> You'd be glowing so blue for some reason. You'd be the Doctor Manhattan of sorcerers. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Well, the uh, smart. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a <laughs> choice of hat, really, isn't it, that makes a difference? Um, is right. this guy concentrating on keeping Kumba locked? Um, locked, because he's got a lot of uh, chance. Roll an arcana check, then, if you want to learn this as your action. Cool. Yep. No, I don't know. No, you do not. Oh, that's me done, then. Cool. The Kana. I think she just says... What the fuck is that? It dies today. Good enough. Mm, and maybe then tomorrow. Can do. She'll just. Yep. Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> well done. Yeah. It dies today. Okay. From. <laughs> let's see. One off the max, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Let's see if I can do that. Bam. And the thing just sticks into him and he doesn't even react. It literally just like sticks into like his chest. And he just is still like staring absent mindedly over the, the group. She's at ten now, I think. And then Yeah. Crumber. Mm-hmm. Cool. Who are you attacking first? Uh, 
I'm trying to think of this or how I would do it. What's the biggest threat to you? Right, what does Crumbar know? Who is the biggest threat there? Biggest threat? If that's how Crumbar's thinking of it, yeah. Biggest threat would probably be Eric. No, 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 no. <laughs> Arya's the one that hit you with a fireball. I mean, I've hit you yeah. with Arya's the mistress of the flame. She's got the fiery bow. She's learning infernal. She's the one that can well, heal herself. She can shape shift into animals. But I mean, whether you know that is irrelevant. Probably don't know that. Like, it just depends if he's had an experience with druids in the past, though, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, you've never seen it done. Uh, but you you do know she was capable of fucking nuking things with green flame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's up to you. You also I'm know that technically to... your brother Paladin is of notable skill to be in the Order. Yeah. I'm more just kind of thinking, right, if this was me doing this as a battle, yeah, I would probably go after Reach just because A, he's kind of secluded. B, he's already damaged. I mean, would you say Crumbar is a warrior? See, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Because you can reach Arya and attack. So I feel like that yeah. would make the decision. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably yeah I'd probably go for the one that actually can actually get the most, oh. you know, use mm -hmm. out of. So it probably yeah, is. I'll not to like specify spec spec that, but like, yeah, your job is to kill them, and yeah, yeah. I'll. Go from nya to nya. Cool. And you're staring the mistress of the flame in the face. Roll badly, roll badly, roll badly, roll. Badly. Are you gonna take a minus Roll's five to hit? This first attack. So. Uh, no, I'm not going okay. to, because I don't know what our AC is yet. Okay, it's fine. Then roll. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, that hits. That hits! It does hit. Mm -hmm. Which is really bad, because not only am I going to do that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, no, I wouldn't actually do that. But you were say. told, kill. You are commanded to kill. So if you have yeah, options that make you able to kill yeah. him, you would. This is how it works. Also, Arya, I'm not actually trying to kill you, I just have to, like, you I know, know don't worry, no, 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 I know. Yeah, let's go, uh, boom. Oh, no. Ah, crap, I think I... No, I didn't. What's that? It's 10 more I thought I... Yeah, 10 more damage. Um, so that means 10 more damage? Yeah. Yeah. Like 4 in total. Uh, get... Oh, it's not quite... Because it's actually plus. Uh, what's your AC? It does not hit. No. Doesn't hit. Oh my uh, god! If you had uh, ten AC, I've done something wrong. So I've done to take ten more, right? Yeah. So twenty-four damage. Yeah. The whole attack you've taken twenty-four total. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. So you you now have Crumbar actively attacking you. This kind of green I'm not, deep glow I'm not in his eyes. That must be shit scary. Yeah. Cause like what what height is um Aria? I say like five years. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. She's saying your bio. What do you mean? On your character sheet. You've no, no. Bio. Like which bit of the character sheet are, are, are you look? I wanting to know. I want to know what uh, height you are. Oh, I always assume that she's like. You know, just slightly taller than the average human women, but shorter than whatever so, elves are like so in this universe. So I don't know what a female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Five ten. You can be five ten. Add that to your. Add it to your bio. Because <laughs> uh, Crumbar is like six foot two, you know. So it's... yeah, and he's a he's a chunky boy as well. I think I've got him at what two hundred and something, but. Cool. Anything else? 250, uh, no, that's me kind of done for actions. Cool. Sure. Right. Uh, Can I check, right? You may. Yeah, this is a concentration. Yeah. 
just because Emmy's not Pip with a I know. mind or thing. I don't, oh. I don't Pip everything they do. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you still get access to all that info. <laughs> right, okay, no worries. Yep, yep, yep. Like when he was readying his banishment, you don't get access to that. Mm. That makes sense. Yep. Right, what is the plan, Arya? You have an angry, angry, angry combar. All right, come One in. second, I'm just trying. Oh, really? <laughs> Good advice, that. Solid. <laughs> Reach slowly backs away further. I'm under that <laughs> shaman's compulsion, I must flee. <laughs> Swishes his robes and hips over the fence, rolls down. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, so I don't like <laughs> being at this no, right. hell. I don't like having a crumb bar in my face. <laughs> that too. Do the worst thing okay, as well so is, even if you somehow got into things. zero, <laughs> God damn work. Because if I if I run away from you now, that triggers an attack of opportunity. If you so take I your action run away. to disengage, it will not. I guess. And it does leave your bonus action. Okay. Cool. So. But which way do I go? Mm. Hide it. The fuck within away. the villagers. One sec. <laughs> Quick, Operation Human Shield. <laughs> okay. So, I'll go here. So you disengage? Yeah. And then go there. Yep. Yep, right next to Eric. Eric, buddy. Um. Just reminding myself which square it is. That was that one, yep, cool. So and... that as a yeah, you can't take attack as opportunity. It was a smart move, put it that way. Mm -hmm. It's the thing that I think Reach and Kitty have the uh -oh. options to do for cheaper. I think. And I'll healing ward myself for a level one. Cool. Because it's a bonus action. Cool. Do you say anything to your teammates while you're there regrouping? Like Does Eric say anything? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, Crumbar's turned against us. Okay. We need to get this spell shattered. I'll just knock him out. Round two. Ding ding. Be my guest. Cocky much. <laughs> ah, he's low HP. You, do, be... you just you see uh, Eric start to jump from foot to foot, slipper to slipper. I got this. <laughs> Come here, Eric, boys. <laughs> Fly like a butterfly sting, like a bee. <laughs> Thunderbolt! <laughs> like a um, right. Uh, have you added all your health? Yeah, good. Cool, you have. Yeah, I've just added it. Reach. Please stun him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can. I think Reach should continue doing what he's doing, trying to get um, whoever that guy is. Goes into hostage cage, closes gates. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding <laughs> pile of dead bodies at the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, um, I think I'm one action prob almost definitely from getting him out, so I do think I should do that, although it does make my next action a bit awkward. Just depends if you think opening them to him is a good idea. Yeah, there's another one. They're probably not in a fit state to fight or deal well, with them. Well, Arya healed um, that guy, remember? So. Looks like Arya. Um... Yeah, but that one I'd have given him, <laughs> given him full health. I mean, who knows what state he was in. Why is mm. that not changing? Uh, press S. Oh, right. I'd, yeah, I'd start... I'd, I still think our best bet is to get him out. You just want to kill him. <laughs> when he did have a cross, so he's got a handful of hit points. At least. Hmm. Ah, nah. I'll um, see if I can get you guys the full art I just did right, so... I... 
don't get used to the art of both of them actually. <laughs> don't suppose I can shoot at that guy there. The gate should be f and free enough for you to open it yourself. Uh, Are you saying that to Crumber so you can just go ahead and... No. <laughs> the, the, him, <laughs> then it, him. Can he? Right. Very Is much it time. Arnold? So that was that guy. And then... Doesn't after his, his eye makeup, you know. No, I was, I, was, well, I was crying about that mother comment. And then, <laughs> this is what he looks like now. Has anyone seen Spawn? <laughs> he looks like Spawn. Wait, <laughs> he looks like a lich, of course. Yeah. Is it a lich? He looks like a lich. What's a lich? Is your name a lich? Hmm. <laughs> I met one two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to run right back. Cool. But to I him. Do your move action to there, yep. Yeah, and I'm going to just punch him. Okay. Time to start doing some damage. Uh, my next shot. <laughs> or maybe the shot. <laughs> <after. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Please, is that enough? <laughs> but time's a job. Oh dear, that is just hilarious. Um, <laughs> that last one uh, does hit. Right, thank okay. you. Cool. Yay. Let me see. It's a harm at all. And that's just a punch, isn't it? Much. Yeah, it's just a punch. Cool. It's yeah, not it, it, it just punch. smacks into him and does nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. Got you see an arrow movement. sticking out of him. <laughs> I'm using it to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking grass me now. Yeah. <laughs> and like it just kinda like slowly looks at like like down from where Crumbar has been kinda cackling at like Crumbar and Arya's like exchange and it like you walk up and you smack him in the ribcage and like you hear like a crack but like didn't even flinch and he just slowly like almost stop motion turns his head to look at you and as he does that like there's like the, this trail of green vapour from like his lips and his eyes and his nose and he looks at you and then the vapour just slowly starts to pour down oh dear <laughs> yeah end my turn cool and then yeah just cackles maniacally and kind of incoherently <laughs> and uh, yeah vanishes in a puff of green Vanishes. energy that just like again as if the space where he was suddenly filled itself without him and uh, ha take that green. did it all by myself ha <laughs> <laughs> ha quit it punch <laughs> and uh do you really need to jump on Crumbar to try to restrain him and uh, knock him out? Still looking yep. a bit insane, or is he looking a bit what happened? Crumbar. Mm -hmm. Your head starts to uncloud a little. A little? Yeah. You have a. Do I know, do I I, know what happened? You have a guilt headache. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've seen it all. You've seen it all. And we're at combat, guys. <laughs> First time in a okay. session and a half. Almost two That's sessions, good. right? <laughs> I I think Crumbar would just kind of flop down the now and just be like, the fuck was that? Uh, I love how Arya has just like stomped past you, though. I love it. Tip to go up to you and punch you. But oh, <laughs> ran. <laughs> but, mm. And you know, worst case scenario, if he tries to attack me again, I know what to do. Yeah. Let the do so. First of all. Well, I'm pretty fucking beat up. So, in fact, I'm not going to flop down there. I'm going to have him go over here mm -hmm. and just kind of sit on there and just kind of contemplate what the what just happened. Yeah, so does everybody kind of move further into the camp then? Well, we just move all these tokens narratively in and we'll just we'll switch to roleplay. We'll we head roughly over. Oh, yeah. That's fine. We'll stop moving tokens and we'll just narratively have this play out now because that's a bit easier. We'll assume that we're moving and such. So um, what is the first thing that happens? So Crumbar just like shakes his head after this guy leaves and then slowly just goes and sits down on a log. What does everybody else do? Be like, not again. Because obviously you've done that sort of thing to us before. Yeah. It's been so, the first six turns just looking around, seeing anything else about to appear or anything like that. Sorry, who's but, done that to you before, are you? First six, eight. Has that guy not disappeared before when... 
Oh, I thought you meant the part well, where Crumbar attacked you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like. I just wanted to know if there was a reaction to the fact that, you know, Crumbar is still there. Well, I probably would have would know enough about magic to know that, you know, he possessed him. So I'd probably be like, "It's fine." I mate. mean, if you, you want to try that, roll. you can roll Arcana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I cool. would. That's what I'm like, alright. Nope. Oh, she's an idiot. Nope. Oh, okay. As far as you're concerned, it could be, it could even be from him picking up the axe. Right? You don't oh. know. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a bit suspicious. I'm like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't have that axe. Right, so. <laughs> she says with a fiery bow in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fiery bow did not make me attack my. Well, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, really? Well, yeah. Not, it was you did not free bow. will. I was not wielding the bow, I just aimed the spell wrong. <laughs> he wasn't you know? wielding the axe. Yeah. yeah. There's no more axe, that's not true. But, but, but <laughs> I've had the bow a fair while, and in that time I've not attacked anybody in the party, and he just picks up a bow and suddenly becomes crazy and attacks me. Well, we just not a known that. Well, let's have this in character, right? So let's oh. think about it, right? Think about what's happened. He's turned on the team. Crazy man got killed, red robe man, and then came back, so didn't stay dead, and then vanished after messing with Crumber. So, yeah, and keep in mind, you don't necessarily know he messed with Crumber. You just know that Crumber obeyed him. So. I'm just going to point what fingers at him. Is that all about Crumba? Oh. You know that way when you kind of. Does hear anybody Krumbar? have any idea who this guy is? He calls you Mistress of the Flame. Are you? Hold on. Are you? They're talking. Oh. Literally talking. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, shit. I can't hear them, shit. What's. So I'm on, I'm let's, on re let, let's rephrase no. that. Nope, no. I can hear you both. Right, so Reach, you go up character. and Yeah, you go up Much and approach the, the log where Crumbar is kind of just sat down. Yeah. So what the fuck was that all about? Yeah. Um, you know that way where it's like I've kind of heard what he said to me, but I'm still kind of a wee bit in shock. Yeah, you're still kind of staring at your feet or something, or your hands or yeah, whatever, I'm, I'm or the axe in your hand with Arya's blood on it. I'm just kind of looking at my hands, uh, and uh, before I answer, I'm just gonna. Have my hands glow gold and boom. <laughs> Do you want to roll insight reach in case you hit him? <laughs> Just look myself. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Touching yourself again, okay. Yeah. And uh, there's that kind of. That's okay, he touches yeah. himself on the thing. There's a wee bit kind of like that <laughs> sigh of relief. And I just turned to him and it was like. I'm just like. I I have no idea what happened. There was just a cloud in my mind and just his voice making me do things I had no control. Yeah, kind of like when the little tag told me to flee, right? Uh. You okay now? Is it any com strange compulsions or anything? You sound okay, but... No, my head's clear. Just... Uh, confused over how that happened. Right. I thought I was stronger than that. I think you might have been commanded to say aloud to people nearby. Uh, yeah, and maybe everybody else slowly approaches a bit more than <laughs> unless you're doing other stuff in this moment. I'll be uh, like, uh, keeping my distance a little bit. Understandably. <laughs> and in all honesty, in this moment, I really do think Crumbar would just be like, uh, you know what? Uh, again, I'm having a wee glug, so I'm going to make some beer out of my carafe. Mm-hmm. And just sit on that log for a minute, just having a having a drink to try and calm my nerves. 
Yeah, because, I mean, let's face it, you're pretty much sat in the remnants of, right, your your history, your past, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah. Don't worry. So, Just uh, allowing for other things to explain. Yeah, so, like, he has that moment of melancholy. Uh, mm -hmm. Katie, Eric, Decana, he's up to anything? Just staring at Kumba and Arya, because Arya launched a fireball and burnt Kumba, and then Kumba had to run back and hit her. So right. sort of like, did they just have a tip in the middle of this, I or mean, what? You know from back at the Direwood as well, like Crumbar used divine magic to like command her as well, right? or tried to. So. Yeah. It's like a lover's tiff. Sometimes uh, they love each other and other times they just want to kill each other. Yeah, this, is like, like, eh? this was with violent magic, right? <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> um, had the in domestic. Uh, <laughs> like hand on head, just like, what's going on? Yeah, I, since I was hiding, I had no idea <laughs> what was actually going on. <laughs> I just, I heard clashing sounds and things so I'm just like hey guys what happened where's he gone <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna rescue these people over here are they okay I don't think they're okay but they might be rescuable <laughs> oh dear I think the canna still is holding her bow in her hands with an arrow knocked and she's just staring at Crumbar she's not good at like pointed at him or anything but she's she hasn't let her guard down yet, put it that way. She's seen him turn on her, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to go open a gate and say hello to people. And say not to worry. Hello, to to do you have a moment to hear the word of Rainwood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord and safe, yeah. The mistress of sorcery. <laughs> Sorry, the mother. The mother of sorcery. <laughs> she gives me these wonderful powers. You may have heard of them earlier. From 300 feet away. <laughs> I, 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 no, no, no. No thunderous booms today. For a change. I was going to hit Kumba with it if he'd come over to me. No go I. <laughs> and it would have been back. a lot of two spell shot at that slot as well. <laughs> I think it's called Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so you, you walk over to the the gate and maybe like you walk by Arya to do that as well. Maybe that's what kind of snaps Arya of just kind of staring at Crumbar as well. Yeah, it's going to go in, push the gate open, see it fall apart because we yeah. punched it for some reason earlier. Yeah. I broke it. You got in. Yeah. So it kind of cracks last bit of wood. It pushes open. Yeah. And then like there's just a whole bunch of terrified looking people staring back at you. Is that Arnold or not? It's not. Uh, he looks like he's token. Nah, it's I just, guess that's the generic Golden Order Paladin mood. It's definitely a generic token. You're right. Um, but yeah, he is wearing like beat up golden armor as well. So he definitely looks like a paladin. So yeah, I walked in and I'm like, "Don't worry, we're here to rescue you. The enemies are all dead. The orcs are dead. It's fine. You and can then, come out." I think you maybe hear one shaky, scared, like woman clutching her kid to her kind of chest. But like, there's one left, and like absolutely looking just terrified, tears streaming down her face. What? Who? Really? They, they all seem dead out there. She points to Crumbar. Hey, that's racist. No, it's accurate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just look at him and go, uh, "I don't think you'll be an issue anymore. Don't worry." He's on our side again. Come on, like, come by, like, Do you want to roll persuasion? <laughs> yes. At disadvantage? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, they don't budge. Also, that paladin man's like on his ass, by the way. He's still killed. Oh, he's still knocked out? Yeah. I'm like, Rich, you speak to him. Oh, oh wait, no. Dukana, you speak to him. Oh. No, just to the people. Yeah, I think the the kind of is, like she hasn't even acknowledged you when you show her. She's still just staring at Crumbar with her bow knocked, but not again drawn or anything at him. 
can I go over to her and put my hand on the bow like, no, no, he's fine now. Uh, did you shout that to Reach though first or did you move over? Yes, uh, I'll say shout that to Reach and go over to Takana, realising that she's like almost aiming a bow at Kumba. Yeah, um, Reach, what do you do? Do you stick by Kumba or do you head into the, the pen? Head. Then to the pain, yeah. yeah. So you walk in, it's obviously various levels of um, mud and filth and... And people. <laughs> yeah, like each one of those markers is about five people, by the way. Alright, okay. Well, yeah, well, huddled. Well, XP. And, uh, <laughs> <to kill. laughs> wow. And, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, good point. <laughs> savage. Let's go, on the way time. I mean... No. <laughs> um, <laughs> because the only me. things that have challenge are worth XP, sadly. Uh, I mean, it could be point 0.1, right? That no. works. No. no. If you versus a commoner is not a challenge, right? <laughs> we put weapons in hands, and then it will be. Do, do you wanna, like, if you want to have like, a Mulan style training montage for oh. a bit. So well, the, uh, well, if one of them, the hunchback that against the hundreds of commons in our sea fort. Here's, been, like, here's the thing as well, right? If one of them's a member of the Golden Order, he'll be a bit of a challenge, so we're just kind of going and finishing him he's off. He's currently him unconscious, so there's the like no challenge there, buddy. <laughs> what I'm saying is he has the potential to be. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Again, if you then... In this, theory! We're not killing these people yet. Okay. <laughs> We're not killing yes. at all, right? I'm just so. <laughs> you're getting a bit cocky now, aren't you? Look at you so. <laughs> um, right, so you head in. You see a member of the order, like KO'd. Um, can you roll history for me? You can have advantage on it as well. Me? Yeah. 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 Cool. History. For his story. Mm. Cool. Yeah, you recognise him. I because it's the guy Slelbas was talking about, Loron. The uh, like half elf guy you recognise the similar ears, right? Cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you put two and to get two together. Yeah, Maybe you don't. With the point of ears. Right. So <laughs> pretty much, you see him. He's on the ground. He's got point of ears. He looks half elven. He's got armor on. Slava said, "We sent him at the half elf pallets. Loron up here." And you're thinking, "Maybe this is Loron." Uh, yeah. Yeah. We found the army. Told you it was a good idea to find the army first. Um, <laughs> and that guy's like, as I said, killed in the ground. Beaten up uh, and such. Yeah. Not ideal. Uh, yeah, so like, do you do anything when you walk in the pen? Or. He's just knocked out, right? So it's not. Yeah, because really Ar Arya fight. healed him right at the yeah. start, and that meant he did not die during the fight. So that was a very yeah, good move. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yep. No need for medicine, I think. No, uh, but you could go over and try and give him a look over if you wanted to try and see. Anything about him? Yeah, do do that. Yeah, look over him. Make sure he's not got any serious injuries. Do a medicine check for me then. Also, yeah, all right. Uh, my medicine's not bad actually. Ooh, shit. He doesn't look dead. Okay. Right. Nice. That's what that's you get. Good, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what a ten will get you. He <laughs> looks like with enough time he'll get back up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think. Like as well, you just hear like the whimpering, and like as you kind of approached, uh, like the paladin's body, they all slightly like scampered back in the mud a little bit to give you a bit of breathing room, um, clutching like they're young and whatnot. None of his armies there; it's just him and villagers, commoners. Kind of yeah, thing he's like the only person that even looks remotely like combat ready or anything. Okay. Yeah, okay. this is like mostly women and kids in here. Okay. Um, like, yeah, like you, c over like as a first glance in the crowd, you don't see any men. Uh, but there's a lot of bones beneath them. A bit. Yeah, still a good question to ask. Where are your men? And uh, can you roll persuasion? So. So intimidation, did you say? No. Persuasion, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> intimidate them. No. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, they're still a bit too unsure of the whole yeah, thing. Absolutely. Yeah, like they're not, like they're still too terrified, quite frankly, of right. what's happened. Um, uh, right. Okay, just tell them you're, you're all free and we can take you back to the city. 
Okay, but is druids exploding? Yeah. Um, Ignore that, she oh, does it often. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that meant to happen? Fucking no. Open no. Anyway. Uh, so anyway. died and <laughs> it's like that scene where R two D two gets hit and all of the gadgets pop out at once. <laughs> 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 so, uh, <laughs> Druid D two no. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you can tell that you say that, but like they're just too traumatized, quite frankly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we look for food and stuff in this place? I know it's um, obvious, but. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I was going to say, well, like, like to maybe around. you head out. Yeah, you head back out of the the gates. Are you? Yeah, what what are you up to in that time period? I wanted to to look around, see if I find any food to give them, because I don't think the orcs would have been feeding them that much. And uh, if not, I wanted to cast Goodberry and like give some of them that look worse for the wear a good berry. Uh, yeah, general. Let's say perception first at a quick glance, if you can spot stuff. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. It's not your particular. No, it's it's not a difficult check, and you're not under pressure. Um, but yeah, the uh, at a glance you can spot obviously just like stuff that they've clearly stolen from villages, right? Like sacks of food and such. Um, so yeah, you can go over, grab that, and then you can maybe just start handing Bring that it out. over. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to try and roll? Perception, and I'll bef bef no, not perception. Sorry, ignore that. Persuasion, or I'll give you the choice: persuasion or animal handling, because they're clearly all traumatized, and I'll bend the rules slightly on that. Okay. Animals, come on. I wonder which one I'll go for. Because it's kind of like trying to obviously, yeah. Oh my God. Perfect. <laughs> so we now know how she sees them. I love your roles so much. Yeah, this is her thing, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's but like, this is like when obviously a horse is jumpy, right? And you have to then horse whisper the whole thing. So she's a hostage whisperer. And then... <laughs> the hostage whisperer. You got cubes for everyone! It starts throwing... Yeah, and Arya heads in and maybe starts handing out food to them and stuff. Um, so yeah, and like, maybe you've got this slightly less. I am already assuming you have dismissed your fireball and put it back on your back to do this. Yeah, because yeah I will not be having my, like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um... Calm down, I was about to ask, but it's going <laughs> In my, place my of an orc lord, you I shall have, have a queen! <laughs> <laughs> Fiery and terrible is the dawn! No, anyway, um, sorry. You will... Yeah. I am not Daenerys. You'll definitely go in and you'll... That was Galadriel, but that's fine. Yeah. You're, you're, you're still early season, Daenerys, it's fine. And uh, the... <laughs> people still like you. And then, um, yeah, so you go in and, yeah, like, they start to, like, maybe, like, a kid breaks away from its mother and comes up and, like, grabs, like, a, a tough bit of bread or something, starts, like, munching into it really hard, and then, like, because of that and you haven't made any negative moves, they all start to then take food and you hand it out and, yeah, maybe, like, you start to like look them over and stuff as well, so yeah, you can go in and mingle. And um, while that's happening, though, Eric, you were you're gonna have a, ta a chat, weren't you? Yeah, I'm going over to the car and, and uh, put my hand on a bow uh, since she's intently wanting to kill Kumbai or something. I don't know. She's still like, got a bow out, and I'm like, keep in mind, our bow isn't our bow isn't, our bow isn't raised and drawn at him. It's just. It's held down in front of her, her hands gripping it, and she's got an arrow in it, and she hasn't moved since he sat down. Yeah, still, I'd still put my hand on it. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, I think as you go up and like, as soon as you put your hand in the bowl, like she does that thing where like it snaps her to the moment, and she turns round and looks at you, and she just says, "Are you okay?" I was going to ask you the same thing. I'm completely fine. And then she kind of just like stares through you for a second, and then uh, she kind of like looks down to the kind of you know mess that's in front of you over the altar. It's like, what happened here? <laughs> I don't know. I was still running around in the forest trying to find you guys. 
she just like she's slowly just like shaking her head, it's like absent-mindedly in that way where she's like not really aware she's doing it, and then she then does that thing where she like n nods her chin at Crombar and she goes, "What of the big guy?" I believe he's back on our side. Why did he change sides? Can I roll on our card see if I knew it was magic? Didn't oh, I shouted out. It was command. I think it was commanded. Anyway, yeah, so like, that's... like okay. Reach did say he thinks he was a bit, like I, the same thing because he had direct. Yeah. Something <laughs> yeah. But anyway, what happened? That's what was. Yeah. yeah. Like Basically, you think he was compelled or something would have been shouted out. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a bit worse. So it depends if you believe Reach's uh, arcane diagnostics. Um, uh, didn't you roll to find out what happened already? Didn't you do an arcana check? To see this? That, that was to see if uh, if I hit if it was, if he's concentrating on. Uh, uh, it would have been the same type I, of thing. So yeah. you would have to have learned the spell by the roll, and you didn't. If that makes sense, because it was to know yeah. the spell, to know if it was concentration. If that makes sense. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Um, so back to what I was saying. I'll yeah. be like, from what Ruth said, it seemed to have been a sort of spell that took over him. I imagine it was a similar spell to what made me turn and run initially and possibly reach. And I can hear that, yeah, yeah. I agree. By the way. Yeah, and you can head over to them maybe if you wanted, um, now that Arya's tending to the, the people inside. Um, and yeah, Dakana's just kind of staring, and then she like puts the arrow back in her quiver. Slings the bow on her back, and like kind of cracks her neck, and rolls her head, and loosens her shoulders, and she says, "This was a fucking mess." <laughs> <laughs> and then she just walks away, yeah. and like, well, exactly, lady talk, but you might survive this. Then. She just goes and like sits down, and then like picks up something that was being burnt on the fire. Hopefully food. I mean, yeah, she just clearly needs space, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it has been a day. <laughs> um, people aren't meant to witness horrors like this, and luckily Eric missed most of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was in the forest, come back and I'm like, what the fuck? Where did everybody go? I assume they went this way. I hear screaming this way. Um, but yeah, uh, Kitty, what are you up to at the moment? Um... I don't know, because uh, like I was gonna go over and check on, on them lot, but you know people went there instead of but me. But no, like so. you can, you can no, you can head over and like obviously chat with Arya there and help out and whatnot if you wanted. Yeah. Cool. Do you say anything to Arya when you get there? That you're all right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what got him to do that. I mean. I mean, they said he was, it was possessed, a bit scary. So... Yeah, it's it's still scary. But I'm glad that he's okay now, and yeah. I'm very upset that that guy slipped away without us even having to, you know, any idea who he is or what. Yeah. And why on earth did he call me Mistress of Flame? <laughs> I feel like I just sort of, like, she goes into this little rant of, why would he call me that? And I'm just there like, okay, I'm going to go over this way. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, but that's kind of like, you know, like, it's it, it's not like, God, how do I put this? That's like, magic is magic. <laughs> yeah. but nobody calls you mistress of white arrow things just because <laughs> you can do it oh, I told they call me mister but other than that but yeah, yeah. She's, she's talking to uh, okay. oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I, like, I, I would have seen like, her do her spell yeah. things. Like, nobody calls you mistress of that just because it's something you can do so I don't know why these two beings insist not that thing wasn't really a being, was it? The fire thing. But no. At this point, I've like, I've kind of stopped yeah. listening. And I'm just like, mistress of hand crossbow. 
I'm like shaking my head, kind of like, oh god, you're not getting it, but okay. I like, just see like the glassy look in my eyes, like, oh yeah, she's not paying attention. Oh yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's it's a remnant from the the cat days, I'm sure. Easy, <laughs> yes. easily destructible. <laughs> That's what I will say. I'm just pushing you, changing your name in. Discord. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So, like, as you are all kind of having this kind of like moment, Crumbar. Uh, yes. What's happening with Crumbar? He's kind of sat there. So... He's obviously sat. Like, he had to get the axe off of his back to get into mm. his backpack to find the jug. He got his jug out and he's been glugging away. So, yeah. Well, this has been happening. Um, I like the idea that both your axes are just lying in a pile in front of you as well. And your yeah. bag sat there next to them. So while this has been happening, um, he's just been sitting drinking and uh, he's had a wee rummage through his bag. Um... And he notices his pamphlet. Mm -hmm. At which point he stands up, and if anyone was watching, you'd just see him running to that tent, and then that tent, and then that tent, and then that tent, and tent, and tent, and tent, and, tent, and so on. You could say he's in uh, tents. Yeah. Um, so he is going to these tents looking to see if anyone is in them yeah like that sudden moment of realization we might not be alone yeah 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 and i think you know who i'd be looking for as well yeah so you start like going through so i uh, does any notice when crumbar starts like rushing through all the tents just up above him i would yeah. say i would because i'd be like that would be my next on the list of to loot places <laughs> yeah i was so waiting on that like, like, going out before me <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like that before me, you big green bastard. <laughs> and then, shout, by the way, your axes are over there. The lock. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my glasses? I can't find my glasses. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you, there's no people in those tents above you. Uh, by that point, does MD actually engage with Crumbar as he's like raking through tents really fast, yeah. frantically? I'm not getting anywhere mm -hmm. near him. I guess. I'm just watching. I, I guess by this point I'd be kind of like running up here, mm. yep. checking in the big tent. Nobody in there that you can see, nope. Okay. 17 invisible away. people though, but nobody you can see. <laughs> <laughs> you barge past them. I'm away, invisible people. <laughs> Run down here, checking both these ones. No. All, all empty, those two as well. Run down here, checking. Right, as you do, Decana spins up and pulls her longsword and points it at your throat as soon as you get in front of her. Sorry, I meant there. Nope. So I'm not, I, <laughs> like, no, I mean, like, so I wouldn't even be going through her. Doesn't matter. Narratively, mm -hmm. you're in the same space. As soon as you're in okay. there, as soon as you run, sword out. All oh, right, yeah, okay, I get you. Neck. It's almost like lightning quick. So you drop your sword back away. I need to search these And she tents. pushes the sword slightly forward against her neck. Take one HP damage. <laughs> no, you don't, but it is a... She isn't, like, there's... Yeah. It was reflexive in the sense that she's not even, like... Doesn't even look like there's fear in her face. It was almost just instantaneously, no, you don't. It's like... I'm. I wish you no ill will. I'm not then here to harm. Then back away. I need to search these tents. Cool. And she's gonna attack you. What the fuck? Do we see this unfolding? I mean, I have no idea. Fuck that hits as well. Because of her, like, you know, fancy spinning move, she couldn't do it two-handed. Yeah, so it's, it's almost like she just flicks it to the side and then back again in the same place. So the sword's now in the wound it just made. Mm. And she says, 
back away. See now, I think at this point as well as I'd be kind of confused. I'm like, why are you? It's like, where's this fear of me came from? She attacks again. Can I run over to her? Right. So do you maybe catch the blade or something this time and like smack it away? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so what? Well, attack for eleven. So yeah. I think it's like as it comes swinging by, uh, that's a long target as well, yeah. Yeah, so it's like it's literally uh, it's not swinging by. I remember, she had it at your neck, and then she yeah. pressed into you. The first attack, she moved it to nick your neck, and then brought it straight back to where it was. So it was can pressing I be, into the wound. Can I be badass and catch it in my mouth? Hmm. <laughs> oh no! I, I mean, recommend it's your first attempt at catching a sword. You want a classical smile? No, but I mean, if it, if it's going for my neck, I mean, it'd be quicker just to like turn my head around and just bite into it. You've probably got massive teeth. So. I mean, exactly. But if you do that, you can't then really have a dialogue with her. Okay, fine. Yeah, gonna uh, as, as I see it coming towards me, I just like uppercut it. Again, keep then... in mind that it's already at your neck, so it's a case of just like she goes to like nick you again, and you just bat it away or grab yeah. it or something. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like I go, mm. like I just kind of throw my arm, like my, my arm up, and just catch it. Yeah, and obviously she does not look happy at all. And I'd, probably at this point, other people might have noticed the this, uh, yeah, the, the kerfuffle. Can I, can I run over? Yeah, you're probably the first to notice, right? Because you're probably closest. Um, I feel like Kitty's maybe trying to loot tents at that point, right? Yeah, because like I'd have noticed them going in and out of the tents, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, so you'd probably be like way up here. Arya's probably helping people, so it's probably Eric yeah. first. Yeah. So Eric, what do you do? You could probably throw in six seconds worth of dialogue before uh, this escalates. I'm gonna. So at the moment, you can you actually just see from your perspective, Crumbar bat her sword away, and is like kind of towering over. So I I didn't see her attack. Them. Nope. I saw him back away. Okay. Remember, I'm, I, I'm so, unarmed as well because like, all my weapons. Remember, he's Crumbar. I'm going to run up behind him and put my hand on his back and say, Stop fighting. Oh. She attacked me. I'm, I'm not. I didn't start this. Then walk away. What, sorry? Then walk away. Not until I search these tents. You're leaving me no choice here, Kumba. Walk away. Just let me search the tents. I just turn around and look at Eric and go, "You're you're looking for your family, aren't you?" I am. I'm looking for mine. Call out then. I want this. I want to know if anything has happened to them. They may not be conscious. Look at the, what they've done to the people in that pen. I am not the enemy here. For now. Mm. Who said that? Decai. Sorry. Yeah. No. I just realised that for some reason I thought you're. Bison. Uh, Spooky undead man! Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so she he was in your pajamas the whole time. No. Um, wait, so Dakana so kind of says for now. Um, and then, as she says that, I just snap her and just say forever. Yet you do not back away when asked. She's she's, not... she's gripping it with both hands now. You can see, like it's like down to her side. You know, like she's some kind of badass heroine. Again, I am not. A, I am not a threat here. Then you will stand aside. Come back. Let me look. You stand back. This is not going anywhere. If I find anyone, I tell you. You just hear me say in Orcish for like the equivalent of like oh, for fuck's sake. Well, oh, fine. 
but if they but if you find anyone I'm coming and then I'll just kind of back over to here yeah and as I want like I think yeah okay in fact I'll, I'll stop there well you you walk away because we're not in really battle map territory anymore yeah yeah yeah, yeah no I'm, it's, it's more so I was going to say something but I'm going to leave it are you going to be that like are you going to be narratively really close to Eric because Eric's going to obviously probably want to get closer to Dakan in a second so I don't know if you actually leave that kind of area a bit yeah yeah so like I mean like just as they say just to back off like you know I just step up back a wee bit so I'm away from um, not just Oria Dakana. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you leave the tented area for a bit narratively to give them space. Yeah. 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 Cool. And and the, and in the hopes that I'm assuming Eric is now going to go and search. Them. <laughs> yeah. After I give the counter a quick like stern look and like what the fuck. You say that with your eyes, do you? Yeah. Well, it's that it's that look of like why. I love the idea that really in the subtitles or in the director's commentary, what actually happened is now I have to do manual labor and look. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so she doesn't even acknowledge you. Like she's just staring at Crumbar at this point, holding uh, her sword. I'll, I'll keep searching the tent, and every time I pop out another tent, I'll keep I'll look, look between them to make sure they haven't. Uh, as soon as you start searching the tents, she um. She like walks away. She's going to take a really weird route here, right? But you get the gist of it. She's really just going to go like there and like check on like what's in these crates and stuff. So yeah, Crumber, she's like left the area. Where? Where would Eric be? He's in there, looking at tents. So he's probably maybe down at the uh, like there. What, really. what? Right. So I'm assuming they've been like there, there. Yeah. No, he's there. He's he searched the first one. He's he's probably half in the second one, and that, by that point, she's left. Cool. In that case, I'd if I if I I'd be kind of wa watching over, obviously, and if I see her leave, I would just be like, "Fine, mm -hmm. she's gone. I'm going back, and I'll go and then start searching this one." Cool. Yeah. So yeah, just work your way around. Does a uh, everybody else has probably noticed this by now, right? So. Yeah. Reach. Yeah. Any uh, any involvement in that? Uh, I mean, no is a valid answer. Can he hold himself? <laughs> yeah, no. I was saying he can handle himself. It's just mm. a woman. He's, yeah, that's oh, wow. why I'm looking at the woman here. Wow. Sorry, everyone, <laughs> Wow, take she's 100 a feminist damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's now been a real fighter. She's, uh, she's done decent at times, but that's... Uh. To be fair, yeah, that, that first shot, I'm so glad it actually hit, because I was like, God, it's going to look so pathetic, isn't it? I, I, I am not going to lie, I was so worried that she was going to down me, but then I realised, you know, relentless endurance. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm comfortable with it, you can handle yourself. So. Yeah, I mean, you're a fifth level paladin, she ain't that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm also unarmed, and she has. Yeah, I'd be a bit wounded. That's the only thing, but still. Uh... Yeah. But she also just did see you like absolutely eviscerate the mm -hmm. chieftain twice, and then turn on Arya. So, yeah, she's maybe a bit like you can stay the fuck away from me, you know? Cause I'm a fucking powerhouse. Um, given your conversations at dinner as well, right? So. Yeah, I'm confused about that. Yeah. But yeah, so reach like. That seems to have kind of diffused, I guess. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're so, kind of standing there next to this altar covering a bloody mess of former orcs. <laughs> right. Just talk to everyone. We're going to search the place and get these people back to the city. And I like yeah. how when you ask that, it then does that camera shot of three people's heads Cam coming out of tents. I was Wait. thinking, <laughs> 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 like, and then Dakara looking around from searching okay. that, so every day is inside <laughs> searching. <laughs> um, do you want to go search stuff as well then? Yeah, yeah, but these bodies, though, especially, but yeah. There isn't so much bodies anymore as mess and slush. Yeah, good point. Clothes uh, and stuff. There's not really, orcs aren't really the, 
notorious for wearing yeah. a lot, but they are. Um, I'll let you know what they they have. They've got like swords and stuff, like like weird twisted metal swords and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> God, that's gross. Uh, right, what do they have? So they have. That sword looks unappetizing enough. That has description. You know? Yep, <laughs> mostly swords. Um, and then, yeah, mostly like, twisted metal swords, like really shitty made swords. And if anything looks slightly interesting, it's maybe a bit too small for an orc. So it's probably like stolen from the village, uh, and like weird, um, like black metal uh, chainmail. Black metal chainmail. <laughs> black <laughs> metal <laughs> chainmail. Metal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Black metal chain. That's unusual, is it not? It's just a colour of chainmail. Isn't it? Is it? But yeah. I was just thinking, chainmail is usually just metallic. If it's coloured, then it's a bit. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, could be war paint. Could be. Yeah. yeah. But most of it's yeah. covered in slush. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Bloody slush. Yeah. Mmm, right. yeah. yeah. smoothie. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you kind of like, maybe you kick through that, and there's like the occasional sword or piece of armour that surfaces. <laughs> Arya, has there been enough food to feed it? all of the villagers? Oh. Will I have found enough food? I mean, if not, I can always make... Yeah, like, I mean, you've you've got every day something to eat, right? Like, every day... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we rest but they're all it. feeling... They're all a bit better now that they've had some food. Yeah. I'm just wondering what if have you guys found? Rest before we go. Oh, oh absolutely, yes. Can we try and make this slush into a more comfortable place to rest for the night? Uh, well, there's still plenty of tents and stuff, so I don't yeah. see why not. The ones in the northeast are a wee bit overcooked, but the thing yeah. is that you do have like 45 <laughs> people here, though, right? Oh, right. I have my own yeah. bedroll and stuff, so. Yeah. So. Could we I mean, the only issue right now is the villagers night. themselves oh. might not want to linger here anymore. They might want to leave yeah. immediately, but I'd rather wait than... Yeah, and it know. is getting dark, remember, as well. So yeah. Night is approaching. You've maybe got, like... You've maybe got half an hour of actual light left. Like it's... How far away again from the city these people were from? From the town, the village you they don't were know. from? You don't know where any of them are from. Okay. <laughs> so I turn to them and say... Are you from nearby? Are you from a nearby village? Where, where are we? Is the rabble that you get back? Can we give them the rough directions from the city? Because that's probably about all we would know. So the yeah, so you're, you're like distance. you know what? Say about six days ride north of Glitterhagen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you can give them that kind of rough direction, and then after the fact that they don't really necessarily know where that is, because that could be. Any number I would of think area really know where the well yeah like yeah. Okay, but they'd, they'd know where Glahagen is uh, so given if that, they've ever left their village uh, even merchants and stuff or visit people I mean yeah them, you think. you could assume it doesn't mean it's true but um, <laughs> the gist of it is you get about five different village names um, including West Deep Pearl as well um, yeah. so they seem like they've been taken from about five different villages. Westy oh, Pearl was that the one that was mentioned? That that's was the one attacks. that um, Lauren was going to make like a basin and oh, and like and investigate from there. It's the one you were heading to, but then you yeah. noticed the scout, and you veered off. So yeah, like West Deep Pearl is maybe a day away, um, and the other villages. I mean, yeah, they probably won't be more than a week away. I would say we probably want to take them back to the city anyway, really just to get them medically seen to, first of all. And their villages probably aren't livable at the moment, let's assume, after a rock or raiding party. Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to become, like, property tycoons. <laughs> <laughs> can I, like, send Ruya, like, ask her, can you see like a village nearby, like literally that would just be uh, what I what I would to look for. So you could send her off, but you don't know when she'd yeah. come back. Because, I mean, you know that, like, 
West Deep Pearl is about a day away. And, oh, the, other, okay, and the other villages are about a week away. All in. Sure, sure. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Okay. Um, so you're talking. You so might, it might even t so Pearl it might take a month to tomorrow. get everybody back to all their villages. See for you to yeah. get everybody back. It might take a month. I still say, yeah, head back to the city and let that yeah. sort out uh, the. Well, story. ideally rest first. Everyone agree? Rest first. We need yeah. to keep guard. Make sure nobody wanders off because they'll probably still be in shock. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to? Ideally, not by keeping them in that. Not in the cage. Thing, yeah. Just yeah. light the campfire to the south and kind of gather around that. What we'll, we'll villages we can go in the tents. The rest of us. Uh, campfire. Well, remember me and Eric are. Down there, the now, and I think the village, those people are a wee bit afraid of me. The now, so yeah. So like, you might we'll, want to take the first watch. <laughs> yeah, we'll play out the scene as obviously you go in and you start like talking with Arya and stuff, and because uh, maybe you look around and see other people are searching, so you maybe you head in and say, right, where are the people from, and use to try and like calm them down, interview them, do that kind of first responder type thing, and uh, you just get some information, and you realize this is forty-five people you're going to have to shift somehow. And you only had so many horses that are over an hour away, so yeah, mm, if they're still there, um, got plenty of rations. Yeah. So horse yeah. meat's not bad. If they're That's still there, right? Bad. And then uh, <laughs> yeah, so you've you've kind of got like a bit of you know map based maths that you're working out maybe, and then um, you just finish raking through those tents because obviously let's face it, like Eric's probably doing it quickly to keep an eye on Crumber, and Crumber's probably doing it quickly for obvious reasons, and uh, yeah, there's nothing, no people. No people. No people. Tents. Nope. Nothing um, at all. Can Kitty give me a investigate check though? I also wouldn't mind one from uh. anyone else that's willing to actually search stuff. So oh. I'm probably gonna let Dakana roll as well since. I mean, I'll do it since yeah. I've been looking. <laughs> to be honest, because. Oh wow. Would it uh, yeah, and typical. We'll I know, right? it anybody. Yeah, <laughs> and tents. We want to search the tents, make sure there's no weapons in them as well. We just want to be. Yeah. yeah. No, you definitely yes. want to be uh, thorough. Careful. Uh, the things that you find are like, like um, strips of leather that have like three javelins tied up in them and stuff like that, like you would sling on your back. Um, various things that these orcs clearly use for weapons. Um, various swords, sheaths, random trophies. Like maybe like the animal skulls and stuff, maybe people skulls. Um, it's yeah, it. it's not, you can maybe guess that they've they've been here for like a wee while. Um, mm. This doesn't look like a new camp. This looks like they've like got here and then slowly fortified it, right? Um, given that they've maybe been here a couple of months, right? So yeah, uh, yeah. So between everyone and by that, I mean. Ducana. Um, <laughs> yeah, you start to like pile up the supplies, as it were. Uh, and. Is there like a possibility that some, that maybe two or three people would go find the um, horses and bring them back? And maybe we can use these carts to like cart any supplies and any like. Probably fit some, you could probably, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you could probably fit people on them as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, one isn't usable like this one. Because there's no way we can fix it up. It, half like, of it burnt. Of half oh, of yeah. it, half of it is burnt away. <laughs> yeah. Like it's probably still on fire. I'm just assuming the tents that were on fire were put out when you searched them. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You just dive into a burning tent. Uh, so, so I'm going to finish that, what I was saying. And, uh, sorry, I thought you were done. I wasn't. So this is the stuff. I'm just going to dump it in. I guess roll twenty. So that's the pile of stuff that gets dumped in the middle. What's the spell scroll? Yeah, right. I wonder. Maybe you'd spend an hour learning that, and we'll tell you. <laughs> I'll do that. I mean, well, she dumps it in the middle, and she says, "I found this." And then everybody else chips in whatever they find in various things. 
How much gold? <laughs> you can see yeah, all the gold. There, there, it might belong to the villagers. We might not get to keep all of it. Don't get too enthusiastic. I mean, well, I mean, we want a reward. And you think yeah. that there were five villages raided, and this is the spoils of whatever's left over. Yeah. yeah not a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ryan. That's me. The, le the leather boots, do they provide any AC You're bonus? wearing plate boots. Oh, yeah. Then never mind. <laughs> They'd go to like Kitty or no or Reach. And they do Little nothing. Like, oh, they just Sorry. look fancy and are worth twenty five gold. Yeah. I want to pick up a spell scroll. Well, you can divvy that up as you wish. Um that's up to you guys to decide. I I'm not gonna fuss with that. Is the plan to fortify this place and spend time here or is it to just boost like well i think everyone's agreed that we're going to kind of rest here so how long are you willing to rest here for because you're at least an hour away from your horses well that's what i was just going to say is if we do a long rest here narratively i think it would be good if i left to get the horses cool you so, know with like reach and kitty or something yeah so basically how it's played out in my mind. Before is... you actually get the benefit, you'd need two long rests, by the way. Yeah. We'd need two. Yeah. Yeah, because you've you had one already. Thing. You're Justoria Restoria. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're even better then. <laughs> but here's how it's kind of playing out in my head is uh, me and Eric have searched here. The guy has <laughs> angrily <Yeah>. found everything. <laughs> we, we haven't, I haven't found who I was looking for. So I uh, just stole away in Orcish screaming fuck, fuck, fuck or whatever. I go sit down here um, while everyone's kind of gather, like pick up my stuff and while everyone's gathering stuff and into the piles, I'll just be like, oh, well, da, 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 I need to calm down. Pamphlet time. <laughs> hey. um, then... Uh, I'm guessing, like, obviously you'd all agree that, you know, okay, we'll stay here for the, for the night, um, but we need someone to go get the horses. Slow down, Scott. That... Take a breath. Mm -hmm. Take a breath, right? You're going to go over there whenever he's piling mm -hmm. stuff in the, the loot pile, and yep. then you're going to sit on that log and breathe and play your pan flute. Then you're going to stop and let other people RP. And then... Uh... All right, okay. <laughs> so, everybody else approaches the pile of loot or does whatever they want to do. What's happening? What's the plan? Mm -hmm. You hear some uh, uh, familiar pan music. I, I uh, go pick up the spell scroll and go, do you mind if I take this and study it? That's quite an expensive item from the loot pile, but yeah, if you want <laughs> to do that in your... <laughs> do you want to roll deception? Or? <laughs> That's not actually. That's you don't that. know. Not, you, you don't, don't get a clue. I know that's magic's why I'm expensive. It. I know magic's expensive. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna price it for you. I'm what I love is, in like, is it the next level? Your fists become magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <well>. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. I'm. I'm only gonna like discover what it is. I'm not gonna take it. And keep uh, it. I think discovering what it is burns it up. But so let's um, keep everybody for the, the wrap up chat then shall we and we'll, we'll yeah. wrap this up so we'll deal with the divvying up of the stuff off camera right yeah um, you just can have the, the montage of like wrapping everything up Crumbar do you head off to get horses or does somebody else head off to get horses yeah basically I'd be like well I can see I'm not welcome here right now I'll go get the horses uh, Yeah. I don't know, someone can come with me if they want. I do think someone should, to be honest. Cool. Um, as you say that, Dekana says, you and me, let's go now. She nods oh. towards the gate. I'd recommend not saying no to her. Yep. <laughs> go, go, go. I, um, I'll, I'll go fine, and then um, as we're leaving, I'll just... Don't kill each other! I'll say to her, I'll just be like, remember, it was me who wanted you to come on this this uh, quest she uh, like sheath her sword with a click and then she just uh, like picks up her bag swings it over her shoulder 
and she says, don't slow me down, and off she goes. Cool. So use both, head off to the narrative space of going to go fetch some, some goddamn horses. I, mm. Right, so, everyone else obviously does what they need to do, and we can deal with all the roles and whatnot if we have to next time, because we are definitely over on time. Oh and yeah. And <laughs> everyone will settle down, people will get XP, right? Beautiful XP. Yeah. Does everybody want to add 3,000? Okay, tell me it. <laughs> That I think is... I forgot to add mine on from last time, so what should it be? 11,000 <laughs> in total. Oh, Oops, okay. I made a mistake and I almost gave me 108,000. Yeah, that would do as well, but yeah. So you are now Yeah, 108,000 would be really nice. So that's 11,000 total. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's a good haul in XP, by the way, guys. So Just that's... So oh, that... Now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's a lot. <laughs> that was a very, very large fight, though. <laughs> yeah. That was mental. Yeah. Obviously, you can deal with the loot in chat. I don't really care how you yeah, split yeah, up because yeah. Dakana's taken none of it. Yeah. Just so you know, she's richer than this. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't need any of this. She might like loot arrows from narrative space no, so that she gets a full quiver again. Fine. Right enough. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's probably done that. That was her happy. Um, besides that, though, yeah, let us name this. And to be honest, my suggestion and Stu got ahead of it. Uh, I want to put this in. I want to put death of a half orc for my suggestion because I feel like he's an orc now. You know, I don't think <laughs> the, I don't feel like he's a half orc anymore. So yeah, that's kind of. That's my suggestion for names for the session. Service so. leaded. That or ouch, but yeah. <laughs> but it's up to you. You can suggest what you want. What's your thoughts? Ooh. I'm happy with that. That's... No problem, Sophie. That does sound good. I think that's too long for a title, mm. Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yep. We'll go with that then, shall we? Right, goals then. And we'll speed this up as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. Right, so Eric, we're probably still yeah, working on yours. Definitely. Yep, probably still definitely working on yours. Um, don't think it came up this session just yet. Except maybe when uh, Crumbar mentioned, obviously. That you're still I have something yours. to do before I do my long uh, rest of sleep, by the way, but I guess that'll be part of the next one. Yeah, we'll deal with yeah. next time, don't worry. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have time for all that stuff, don't worry. Um, uh, are you? I think you're. I'm gonna, you're one pip along, yes. but not because of Crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, because I've heard it being spoken around. Yeah. It was kind of targeted for the, uh, you. version and stuff. Yeah. Um, and this one was maybe spoken so you could take it in. And uh, Grumbar. Mm hmm. I feel like you've achieved the goal. Yeah, I yeah. think we've done it. So it's actually more XP, guys. Yay! It's, it's another, what, is it 250? I think it works out to be at this level. So is it 50 times Usually. 5? Yeah. What was your goal? Sure. Yeah, so I don't know everything gets an extra 250 XP. So XP is 11,250. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Uh, Kitty hasn't learned any more yet, and Reach hasn't done his yet either. So yeah, we are at 11,250. Arya did understand Inferno perfectly earlier. Yeah, but I, I still need a little bit till I'm like fluent. Yeah, and the goal is from Crumbar, so he needs to do yeah, the finishing yeah. touches to that, sadly. Yeah. We're, yeah. I was planning on doing that next thing. And that is their let's make up after the fight chat, so. Yeah, um, kind of. Uh, beyond that, though. Beyond that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just updating this last part. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, I think that's all the goals done. 
Let's do a wrap up chat and let us leave Scott to last. Uh, let's start with Eric. It was nice to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, interesting session. Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> Got to use my lightning bolt first time. Mm -hmm. Happy days. Mm -hmm. Did a piece of damage. Messed up with re rolling, but oh well. Too many, too many eights were thrown about and eight got in my head and it was eight. Mm -hmm. um, and then that, like the uh, Kumba being stubborn is interesting. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. kind of predictable. Understandable. Uh, a lot happened. It's a very emotional time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, especially, like, I kind, I kind of was trying to empathise with him, mm. but it's like at the same time, don't want to like not take the camera side. Mm. It was like oh, shit. Well, like, cause you're trying to better. Well, rude. We can't all lose drinking competitions and get her in, do we? Can we? <laughs> he hasn't got enough money to do it. <laughs> no, I definitely don't. You might have now. You might have actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watching competitions afterwards, so happy days. I like the random roller for that because it gave little trinkety things that I thought was cool. Because obviously, it would be like yeah. things you would find in a village, right? A random collection of stuff orcs may have, like that doll that was on one of the orcs outside. The random stuff. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, everything's. Uh, oh, it's okay. Next thing, don't worry. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Anything else to add, Eric? Uh, curious to what. Um, the Kano and Kumba are going to be speaking about. Mm, right. And I'm useless at trying to persuade people, apparently. I can, just, I can lie to people, not persuade people. <laughs> Such a noble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not good. It was good. Um, and it was nice to see some, some big actions on the spells and stuff. Um, right. Uh, are you? Well, Big action um, from you this session as well. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Um, that was interesting and and new and um, also quite annoying and at times made me think, you know, why won't you die? <laughs> Which is part of a song that Chester from Lake Park sang in. So I had that song kind of like running through my head as part of the combat. Um. Because yeah, mm. annoying thing just to die. To be fair as well, this was deliberately meant to be intense again because he's had that fight with the orc and then the chasing the scout at the end of one session. Then you had a whole session of fighting yeah. the camp and watching Crumbar fight, and then this has been a whole fight <laughs> again. So it has been intense for you guys. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it has been definitely. But look at what level five you guys can do, right? This is fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah, thoroughly enjoying myself. Mm. No, good, good, good. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to see you embrace the flame, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, you know, just like you know, getting used to where to aim them is a work in progress. Yeah, but, but it's hey, a it's a good learning curve. It, it works in character as mm -hmm. well, I guess, because she wouldn't really know that well what these things do until she's used them. Exactly, yeah. It's perfectly in character and I like it. Um, I can't wait to see how that develops as well over the next few sessions. Um, Me too. Yeah, it should be fun. Uh, reach. Oh. Right, okay. uh, another fight and not down, although right. one hit and I was thinking twice about <laughs> it. But I, was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was expecting that one to blow up though, or to, I was actually expecting the green stuff to leak out and spin or something and decay stuff around it. Ah. That's actually what I was literally expecting. Like so, necro wind uh, or something? Yeah, kind of thing, yeah. Mm. That's, I was a wee bit surprised to see Crumbar still alive. That's, I, I mean, yeah. I don't know, he's quite good at that, aren't you? Crumbar, so, uh, yes. Uh, as a talent, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was nice to see um, obviously not so much this fight, but like when you're able to do your stunning stuff, god it's so good, and it's just obviously a shame that in those particular hits it was unlucky rules for them. Yeah. Um, that's the longevity problem, though, seeing extended fights, having mm -hmm. no no short rests between them, that's when you have to go, oh god, when do I use these things? But I think it was that, like, all your choices made sense, right? Um, yeah. 
And obviously I was so pleased the command spell worked. Oh man, it was so good when these things work. What else was she going to do? You were all absolutely hunting her, like hitting her with arrows and shit. Like, of course she was like, okay, cool, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm guessing that was pretty much all her spells anyway she'd used. She couldn't do much more after that, or will she still have plenty left, do you think? Not that I'm about to describe her repertoire, but she's pretty dead. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, she wasn't really an offensive caster. So, right. the spells she had just weren't valid. Right? I was expecting she was going to heal the monster and stuff. That's what I was expecting. Uh, mm -hmm. or That's why I was trying to hit the monster. That doesn't but, tell her who the, the chief is, though. Yeah, yeah. That tells her who she made the chief. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, she's an orc, right? She's got honour. Yeah. Um, no, there was a part where I was tempted to, that she should heal herself, but there was other stuff going on, and I'm like, nah, she's going to use command on Eric at that point. And I was like, it makes more sense. She'd get rid of people because he just hit her with a lightning bolt. And it pretty much nearly killed her, right? Um, so yeah, that was a case of get the hell away from me. Um, but yeah, I was just pleased I got to use command twice and it worked. It's so rare. Also, <laughs> banishment never works against Grumbar, apparently. Yeah. He who cannot be banished. Because he was yeah, already I banished. Get, I, can, I can get possessed, apparently, though. Yeah. That yeah. was funny. Well, was... your luck will run out at some point, <laughs> you know, like I've learned. Yeah, I literally your luck ran out. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. So, anything else to add, Reach? No. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to be finished combat though. But yeah, yeah, definitely. That's also, I didn't ask you, Ari, but I assume you had anything else to add? Because I just kept asking you that, so apologies. Ari? Hmm? I, I skipped asking I if you had any uh, anything else to add, so I'm, I'm retreating. No, 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 no. I was, I was done. I was like, good, yay. Good. I figured you were, so good. I'm glad I didn't overstep the mark. Uh, right, last but not Crumbar. But Crumbar! <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was intense. Mm hmm. Um, really, I have no way to single out anything. Like the entire thing was just great. Like the fight, the fight with a uh, hulking Susan was great. <laughs> um, I really wasn't expecting uh, the guy in the red robes to show up. Mm. I really wasn't expecting to get nuked in the face by Arya. <laughs> um, then I uh, really, really wasn't expecting him to come back as a, you know... Whatever he came back as. You know, a burnt victim. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very badly burned. <laughs> then uh, having to play a bit of an enemy was quite fun as yeah, well. Yeah, right. Past, um, if it makes you feel better, like, the Reb Drove Man was a challenge rating 12, dude. So, he's, uh, um, he's like, okay. <laughs> you know the one thing I really wasn't expecting? Destoria to uh, oh my god the canna uh, the canna to turn on me I mean did she though or is that just residual effects of the dominate spell I mean in Crumbar's viewpoint because I doubt she'd consider her turning on you <laughs> mm. well yeah I mean, Out of everyone, she was the last person I thought that was going to... In fact, probably keep in mind, you know his spell was cast as a player. She doesn't. Yeah. Right? She was I far away from the whole, like from you the whole time. Obviously, mm -hmm. Arya's the only one that saw your eyes during that period of time. Yeah. So, yeah. Honest, honestly, I thought mm. it was going to be Eric that was going to turn on me. Mm, nah, I mean... You got your back, yeah. right? Sometimes literally. So the fact that he came to my rescue was quite uh, good because if he didn't step in, um, yeah, that would have been interesting. Yeah, it's good. Well, I wasn't about allow, I wasn't about to allow you to go hurt her, so mm. it's like noble, noble things. <laughs> yeah, imagine we just took this noble lady away up in north and then murdered her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta look after my family. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, anything else you want to call? That was a very good performance in general from Crumbar, quite frankly. Well fucking yeah, done. Yeah, I am <laughs> fucking... Yeah, it's just... I'm really feeling the character now. I'm like... I mean, obviously, like, me and you have talked about mm -hmm. things in the 
the past about contingencies and things, but bloody hell, man, I'm really feeling the synergy with them now. Right. Also, I can't wait for the awkward buddy cop adventures next session with you and Dakana. Yeah, especially because I'm still sitting on 8 HP. <laughs> yeah, and you, you'll need two sleeps for that to go back. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait because it's going to just be like a month of montaging with you and her just chasing horses. It's just going to be great. Um, wow. <laughs> um, if that's everything we've got to add, we've named a session, we've done XP, we'll do loot and such going forward. Um, thanks for playing, guys. That was kind of fucking excellent, actually. That was really fun. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much, Ryan. And we'll uh, catch up in the future. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.